Welcome everybody to this week's episode of Heralds of the Titans. Um, on the previous week, the champions were recognized by their titans and began planning out some of the next steps of what they were going to do. Um, they got some shiny new toys from, from the titans, um, as well as starting to actually... Um, gain piety on uh, one of the systems that this campaign is going to be using. Um, along their journeys, however, once they left the Celestial Court, um, on their way towards the port city where they intend to meet with a group of pirates um, to start heading towards Tally Ho, they came across ruins of a long-lost temple that had been unearthed during the earthquakes yes. that had happened a session a, that was two sessions ago wasn't it two sessions ago um two of the adventurers granny apple and marcus decided to go and explore the temples during the night the other two opted to return to camp, at least for the time being. And that is where we're going to pick up our session today. Eric and Loch Nada, you have the floor. Ooh. All right, well, it looks like they went off that ruins. I hope they're going to be okay. It's kind of laid out. Very dark. But, hey, what they wanted to do, that's on them. I'm not very willing and able to jump myself into a trap or into some sort of booby trapped areas. I'm not dying. I don't know about you. I, I mean, I'm just... I mean, I got camp ready, and if they die, they die. Then we have to figure something out. That's Aww. how I see it. Titans uh, can pick new heralds, right? I guess that's that. But I got some venison. You hungry? Eh, not right now. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. We need to feed the horse, obviously. Drink some water if you need to, and then I guess kind of just relax. Wait for the comeback. Sounds good. That's you... all we can do. You want to go feed the horse and, and do all that stuff? Yeah, I might as well. I'll go feed the horse. While he's feeding the horse, uh, I'm going to start messing around with the... The instrument of illusions. I believe we said it was going to be a guitar. And I just start trying to play it to get better at it, to get proficient with it. Okay. Um, roll a performance check. And a d10. Uh, so for the d10, I got a 9. And for the performance, I got a 10. Total? Yeah. Okay. So, Loch Nada, as you are feeding newspaper, you hear... It's not the worst thing that you've ever heard in the world, but it's very unpracticed. Um, you ever hear someone like practicing violin, like where they start plucking it and stuff like that, or even learning guitar for like the first time where like there, it's not like actual music. You're, you're just hearing the day, 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 day. I'm learning me. my scales. That was me with the violin, but go on. And that's what you're hearing right now from the distance between you and where newspaper is right now. You're getting somewhat better at it. Thanks. I go back to doing the scales. Um, you will gain nine points towards proficiency with uh, instruments. Okay. What's the 
axe. Um, you'll become proficient at 250. Oh, okay, cool. I think Berg has a tab on uh, Legend Keeper where that yep. building kept track of for us. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh... Um, you feed the horse without any issues and stuff like that. He gives a snort that sounds a bit approving, though you're not an animal speaker. Oh, I guess they'll still, they'll still do something else. Sorry, I was pulling up Legend Keeper. Um... Yeah, I might as well feed myself too while I'm at it. And get something to drink. That will be... That's That you could do all within the same action of, as um, feeding the horse. Feeding the horse, yeah. In the... So just take a um, daily ration, ration out as well that. as drink. There we go. Uh, and I put the guitar down and I just start the my rations and drinking my water. Okay. Full. Oh, are we just going to do all four of the uh, phases? It's or are we gonna... entirely up to what you guys want to do at this point. Mm. I know somebody wanted to do something specific, and that's... Oh, I guess that's what you want to leave for. Um... Well, I mean, you guys do, like, it, I, it depended on when you were going to do it, whether you were going to wait for night or if you were going to do it now i wasn't really sure what you were planning so yeah i'm going through the phases and stuff mm -hmm. like that and seeing what people are looking to do gotcha uh yeah i mean i just ate and i also did the the you know the instrument so i feel like it should be yeah. right now uh so yeah now now that that's all done i'm, I'm going off the bed i bring karama with me okay yeah. i'm heading off heading off the bed manliness kind of shot all right i watch for a little bit I'm going to so take for a shift. Okay. Bear in mind that you guys would have to potentially watch a little bit longer because the yes. other two are not with you right now. Yeah, so it's like what I'm doing is we'll considered a short rush, right? Because I'm going to have to get yes. up and, and... Yeah, yeah. Well, no, not, necess not necessarily. Okay. It It depends on how the next, you know, eight hours go. Right. If you so your your long resting until you do something that would be considered extraneous, and that's not necessarily talking to a god or anything of that nature. Um, you do need to actually get sleep in there at some point, um, but basically a long rest is defined as anything that is not like any non-strenuous activities for the period of eight hours. Huh. But if you start if you start like getting into some crazy shit, you know, or go run a marathon, then yeah, your long rest is interrupted and it becomes a short rest. So in preparation for what I'm about to do, because I, I know I'm doing this, um, I kind of like start meditating and just calming my mind, putting myself in a, in a state where my thoughts will be rational, hopefully, uh, when I, you know, start okay. trying to do what I'm doing. And, and in my head, I'm calling out to the God of Chaos. Okay. Before we get to you, Block Nada, is there anything else specifically that you would like to do? So while you're watching or, you know, is there anything you're doing specifically or are you just looking out for any, any dangers or anything like that? Um, 
I think I'm gonna keep reading that book that I have. Uh, that religion which... book. Okay. Was, roll um, me yeah. roll me a uh, D ten. Eight. Okay. Um you learn a lot more that's just kind of reinforcing some of the stuff that Ziggy had, or uh, Granny Apple had shown you, um, specific to the Titans and stuff. Um, you learn a little bit about the tenants of the Forge. Um, you start to see some of the similarities in, in the way that Granny Apple is acting and the things of this Forge. Um, it specifically talks about. One second, I'm gonna pull it up. Hey, Bert. Yes. I gotta restart my computer. Internet cut out now. Everybody's just robotic, and I'm only getting half of every word. Okay. Um. So, Eric, you hear about? You see the actual tenants written down, and you the words are written very clearly. My might is my hammer. It shall strike true and justly. Not Eric, I'm sorry. Uh, Lachnada. It shall strike true and justly. It shall not be used to break, but rather to mold and mend anew. My courage is my forge. It shall never be extinguished. It shall temper those who stand by my side, but shall be as a raging fire to those who stand against me. Test my fire and this day you shall rue. My will is my anvil. It shall not be bent, nor shall it ever be broken. Upon it shall steel be tried true. Uh, and you gain eight points. You said eight, right? Yeah. You gain eight points towards your religion proficiency. Eric, I am now going to switch over to you when you are ready. I am ready. So, how do you call out to chaos? Uh, so, internally in my mind, uh, while I'm laying down relax, I'm calling out like to uh, the god of chaos. I need to speak with you. God of chaos, please come to me. I need, I need to talk. Okay. So, as you do that, there's a short pause, what almost feels like time itself seems to get longer and longer and longer. Every moment feels strange with anticipation. Suddenly your wrist begins to burn and you see the glowing marks where chaos had branded you. The deep crimson red and almost like blood gushing out. You see liquid forming and pouring around you, gushing from that brand. You hear the laughter of chaos. Tendrils appear from the, this pool of blood and begin wrapping themselves around your limbs and dragging you almost into this pool. You s struggle to remain above the surface of this pool, the tendrils dragging you down Grasping for breath. Do you continue to resist it? Eric? Yeah. I, 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 re I gasp. I reacted. So you continued. Oh, I didn't hear you. Your oh. mic didn't pick it up. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm like literally being like dragged down and I'm freaking out. So you're I'm fighting gasping. it still. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm being I'm being roll. dragged out of my will. Of course I'm fighting it. Roll a uh, constitution. Okay. Uh, saving throw. And I'm being like there's also like a like this red substance that's coming out right that's like suffocating me. Right? Correct. There are there are black tendrils coming from this pool of blood that are wrapped around like your limbs and your neck. Uh, I got a. Hold on. Hold on. One sec. Um. Thirteen. Okay. You do manage to stay above the surface of the water. And you hear a voice then. Why do you continue to resist? You wanted to talk to me, do you not? Come, child, give in. I'm cool with just talking to you this way. You you were just able to talk to me. There's no reason for me to go down there. If you can talk to me right like this, that's cool. I start continuing to struggle. Roll another constitution saving throw because her efforts have now redoubled. Oh, double. Uh, 19. Student child, I'll not speak to you on your terms. If you wish to speak to me, you'll speak to me on mine. Fine. And I just kind of like completely go limp with my body. The tendrils drag you under and you feel as though you feel as liquid enters your lungs and the last bits of your life begin to struggle. Your vision closes in and a blackness surrounds you. But you awaken. Uh, where am I? So dark, I can't even see the hand in front of my face. I'm supposed to be able to see in the dark. This darkness is very. Are you not seeing things properly yet? No, it's just a black screen. I no, think. it's just all black. Double no, click I... on your, double click on your character, Eric. Oh, okay, cool. If you Every, uh, and ever, if everybody else double clicks on his character as well. Yeah, Intel Spire. Uh, I. Oh. You click on his thing. Yeah. Hold on, I'm looking from your screen, making sure you're, you're seeing the right stuff before I continue. I think I'm seeing the right stuff. You don't see her, though, do you? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Wait, bring her back. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Bring her back. She's not there anymore. Uh, I just... Yeah, I saw her go away. Yeah, she's... Hold on a sec. God damn it. Oh, she was back, and now she's gone again. Oh, she's back. Okay, don't do anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, I kind of want to, like... Before I even acknowledge the fox... In my pre the Chaos God in my presence... I just want to, like, look down... Because, like, I finally, like... Adjusted to the light, and I'm seeing stuff. And I just want to, like... Try to like 
understand what the heck this area is that I'm standing in. Like, if I recognize any of, like, the runes or or anything that's just from reading books and whatnot. If it's just... If, if I understand anything. Everything to you is alien. Everything's You familiar. recognize nothing. Though the symbols that you see before you, as you look a bit... Uh, roll an investigation check for me. Okay. Good to me. And then also a history check. Okay. Mm, no, not history. Nature. Okay. Yes, that's way better for the history. Okay, that is station. Okay, so I got a 15 on investigation and I got an 11 on. Okay. You recognize the circles around you as the phases of the two moons that orbit this world. Okay. That is about all you recognize, though. Everything else is just beyond your grasp of comprehending. Okay. I'm trying to stop my knees from shaking because I'm, like, terrified about what just happened. And I almost... I I feel like I almost died because i literally drowning. Uh, and I just, like, slowly start... In front of me. And I start seeing, like, w what is the body of the God of Chaos look up and it's just I'm terrified I'm just of what I'm looking at and she's just stand staring down at you with eyes full of hunger hi hi I, 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 you seek I to speak with me yeah I wanted to wanted I wanted to know some things. I wanted to know more about you and and how how you can help me and my friends. I help in my own way. You made a deal. I honor my end and then you honor yours. So I don't know what mine end is. But, I do thank you for helping out, Manliness. Your end will be what I decide when I decide. That is the order of things. And if you should fail, I take your body. I take your soul. I take your memories. I take everything. Can I see this contract? Where was that in the fine print? There's no fine print. There's no contract. You agreed in an open term. You didn't try to negotiate with me. You just accepted. Foolish mortal. Can you tell me more about the heart and why you were so interested in that box? Wouldn't you like to know? I would. That's why I'm asking. And why should I tell you? Why not? Why should I? What do I gain from this? 
What entertainment is there in me informing you? Furthering the deal. Furthering potential of gaining what you want. Gaining what you don't have. And what don't I have? You tell me. Again, I'm under no obligation to. I am in no obligation either. As far as our agreement is, you will call on me and you will ask me to do something for you. And I either do it or I lose my body and you just take it. So you could tell me stuff or you could not tell me stuff. But I came here asking. Fine. The heart is that of my brothers, the devourer. Oh, what's the silly name he went by? Oh, yes. Zithram. Hmm. Seems that he wishes to reclaim his spot. He as in Zithram? Vengeance. Oh, I as Zithram. The one, the only, the devourer. And do you seek the heart to prevent your brothers from getting their spot back? It's not his to take. It's mine. From what you're telling me, it seems we're on the same page to a point. I mean, I don't want a thing called a devourer to come back. <laughs> so what is it that you wish then? To make a deal? I already made a deal with you. I don't know what other you deal is, ne is necessary. Deal. But I love deals, little one. You love deals. Definitely should. Are you asking for my help further? No, I, I wanted knowledge. That's why I wanted to speak with you. I am I am fine with helping you out. You helped us. And and presumably, since you said friends pretty open-endedly, there's potential you may help more of my friends than just manliness. I would be very grateful. Knowledge comes at a price. At there was no deal agreed that I need to give you anything to ask for those questions. You willingly asked, answered them. True. I didn't ask for a price now, but you ask so much more. You also asked you for have a deal. So many questions burning in your heart, I and I will answer every single one of them, should you choose. Don't lie to me. Your heart burns with questions. The unknown is devouring you whole. My mother used to tell me, the less you know about your destiny, the happier you will be. And I stand by that. Are you happy, Eric? I'm the happiest I've ever been. Are you? Yeah. Serving a god who doesn't even care about you. Uh, my, my god tells me multiple occasions how he's on my side and how he cares. He didn't even get pissed at me for making the deal with you. For now. But what happens when you fail him? I'll, I'll have to deal with it when that happens. I'm not planning on failing him. They're fickle. They all are. They always were. You'd know more than I, but I think naivety is bliss. It is. It is what makes you mortal and me a god. You are powerful, I'm not denying that. You'll live your paltry little life. 
accomplish what you will, and then be taken off by the raven, or whatever else that they decided to come up with, since Argrius is a bit, um, occupied. But then you go into the eternal dream, where you just become a living battery of a cycle. I mean, that's humanity in every sense. You live, die, rot. Things eat your rot and become and other you living things. exist as a slave to it all. Not that bad of an existence, to be honest. I'm cool with it. And I suppose there's nothing more for us to talk about here, then, is there? Not at this moment. You gave me a lot of information. I do thank you for that. But I'll call upon you again, as I'm sure you will call upon me to take care of whatever this task will, will be. My deals are always open, should you ever change your mind. I think in the back of my head, without saying it to the god, Rooted. The deals are always. I try to like wake myself up. And you do. Give me just a second as I undo all of this. What I wanted to learn. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. I'm gonna like constantly call on that god. <laughs> Just one second, let me fully reset everything. Mm hmm. Do your thing. You awaken as though nothing happened. Oh, so my character doesn't have the memory of this, but me as a player, I do? No, your your character remembers. Oh, okay. Sorry, but like otherwise, like there's no tendrils, there's no marks on you, there's no pool of blood under you, there's no. Oh yeah, I recognize it was all tell. a dream. Yeah. There's nothing has happened to you otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recognize that as a dream. That's why I said like I try to wake myself up. Like I knew, I had a because I had cleared my mind. I had like that kind of uh, what do they call it? Um, but like you know you're asleep. A lucid dream? Lucid dream, yeah. So it's pretty, pretty much a lucid dream for me. Yeah. Something but, akin I'm, to that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, I'm still going to freak out. Like, they, these tentacles are coming out. They're trying to drown me. I can't breathe. Like, you know. Right, even, right. Even in a lucid dream, I'm still freaking out. <laughs> for as far as you can tell, that felt as real as it gets. Oh, yeah. For sure. Man, that sucks that that's, like, how it's going to be every time I got to talk to them. But I got to talk to them. They're, I have another god I can talk to. Might as well. But I learned a lot. I need to, I need to tell my companions, but I'll, I'll wait altogether. And I come, I come to... Can I, can I keep doing stuff? Because I want to I wanna do one quick thing, if possible. Well... Um, as you look at the position of the moon, you will realize that it is about two hours later. Okay. So I do want to relieve manliness from his duties, but I want to talk to Karama because I was asleep. There's no way Karama was with me. Um, so I kind of like look over uh, to see if I can find Karama in my tent. Karama is sleeping next to you. Um, I like gently try to like nudge him to wake him up. He jolts up and looks at you. I promise you're not going to believe this. Uh, and like everything just like floods me like real quick, like everything I, from my dream. So I'm like overwhelmed uh, and, I, and I compose myself. Uh, I, I just went to go talk to the God of Chaos. Uh, as you as you do, by the way, you mm -hmm. spit up a bit of black water. <laughs> uh, this isn't good. 
otherwise, after that, there's nothing... Like, as it seeps into the ground, you can't tell any... Anything else. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, like, choking, but... Oh, Karma. Karma, so I, 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 I know I, I probably shouldn't be doing these things, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to use all the tools that are available to me, and I, you know, I made that pact with that fox god, and uh, they probably know a lot about what's going on with the heart and, and stuff that maybe the titans aren't telling us, so I went to go ask, and I got some information that's kind of cool. Um, you spoke to her again. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, Karma, straight up. Probably gonna talk to them a lot. Just be careful. Yeah. As the Titans have mentioned, she is a mistress of lies. It's true. The things that come out of her mouth are sometimes true in some regard, but never with the true full scope of things. Facts. And that's that makes sense. I mean, obviously. This god's going to say things that could make me do things that would undermine what the titans are trying to do. So I, I understand. But it can't hurt to get some get some information without ever without having to further my own my issues. Like I was able to get some information from him without having to actually make another deal, which was kind of cool. Um, but I, I, I waked you, uh, woke you up. Uh, first off, we got to we got to go take over shift for manliness. But on top of that, I have some questions for you, because you, you are the the aid of, of three previous heralds, so I'm sure you might be familiar with some things that I'm not. Okay. Spit them out. Uh, so, first thing, uh, she brought, the, the God of Chaos brought up uh, the name of the heart is uh, of the Devourer Zithrum. Does that sound familiar to you? As you even say the words and stuff like that, it it feels like you've heard this name before. It's on the very tip of your tongue, but you can't quite place it. And Karama seems to be... The feeling that you get from Karama seems to be the same. I... I swear I have. Yeah, even as I say it, it's like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't say it. I wonder, I wonder if there's something preventing us from from recalling this information. That would be a solid guess, though. I to affect a dreamer. Well, this this seems like something we should talk to a cars about at a later time. Being that you know you're you're from the land of dreams, and I can visit him there with the help of. The, uh, you know, the, the fae, the, uh, the, not the fae beast, the, um, oh, what the heck was it? It wasn't a Kai, she was the other thing. The Kezerai. The Kezerai, yes, thank you. The Kezerai helped me last time get there. I think this would be, in the future, if we end up running into her, I'm sure our paths will cross with her again, especially since, you know, we'll be helping out Talon. Uh, we should definitely bring this up to Aris at that time. It's very interesting that both of us seem to know, but we, but it's, very frustrating. I'm curious if this affects the others as well. I will tell our our, our companions here too. We I all think that would together. be a wise decision. The other thing, and I'm hoping that you could kind of enlighten me on, on this. I was a little confused on it. Godacast said that if I were to fail the task that she's sent me on. She hasn't told me what that task is going to be, but if I were to fail, she's going to consume me and become me, basically. She's going to have my body, my mind, my memories, everything. It seems that that is then the purpose of her deals. If you recall, Olivandria mm -hmm. mentioned that she was a titan without form. Correct. What her form had been destroyed, defeated. And she is seeking to return. I wonder if that is true for the others. The other shattered.
it's very possible like the you know the god of chaos did state that this one's looking to or her brothers which i'm assuming are 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 eventually going to become all of Zithrum, uh, is trying to reclaim their spot. The, the god From of... From my of knowledge, the they were three separate individuals. They, Zithrum was one. Or the Devourer, as I know him. Like I said, this name sounds familiar, but one that I... can't base. Could they have all been one entity at one point? And maybe split. Is that why we can't? Um, my recollection, no. But maybe something to look into. Yes. I can't say for sure if if my very memory is can't be trusted, and I can't remember who this is. And there is indeed a magical influence. Then perhaps there's more to this picture than 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 I can even recall. I wouldn't count anything out until we are sure that we can trust even our own minds. I agree with you. I agree with you, Karma. Oh, thank you. Thanks for this talk. Let's let's go. And I start like heading out. To Let us go, indeed. Relieve manliness. Lachnada, Eric comes out to you. Hey, Lachnada. Well, manliness. Guys, manliness. Uh, <coughs> you uh, want to go get some shut eye? Take over. Yeah, that would. I suppose that would be good. And if they still don't show up, just wake me up again. Okay. I'll uh, I'll I'll blow the horn. Oh. All right, I am kind of tired. It was a, it was a day. It was quite a, quite a day. All right. Uh, I'll be in my quarters. All right, man. Sleep well. And I go to bed. Okay. I am now going to shift over to the other two. Oh, I, I forgot about us. Granny Apple and Marcus. You, as you enter this area with the ruins and stuff like that, come across an old very small church. And everything looks normal for the most part in terms of a church, other than it being ruins and whatnot. But you can see that there is a clear divide in the ground where the ground has shifted and a rift has appeared, leaving a big hole. Um, I mean, I gotta go look at it, right? Can I do detect magic as a ritual? Yes, you may begin uh, starting the ritual. Okay, I'll wait. I'll be patient. I'll look around. Uh, roll a um, perception check. Man, I got a no, 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 roll an investigation check. Oh, okay. Oh, that's way better for me. You're busy, Odin. Oh, okay. Oh, but I did roll a two, plus four is six. So. 
You don't really see anything of any particular interest at all. Um, any Religion, books, you know? Yeah, any books that you see, like, are just uninteresting things, basically, not Volcanus. Uh, anything that you've seen that would maybe have something to do with Volcanus is stuff that you already have, or is just, like, beyond... Dis like just waterlogged or torn up or burnt nothing that can actually be be salvaged or read or used mm -hmm. Dang. Um, but after 10 minutes of you seeing Granny Apple absolutely tear the place apart mm -hmm. with a increasingly frustrated uh, face your ritual is complete, Odaiden, and you cast the spell. All right. Do I see anything magical? From first, from a cursory uh, glance, no, you see nothing. It doesn't appear to be anything magical unless it's well hidden past my skill. I go up to the altar um, um, and I, I tell who's who the church is to so you're not in so on the map that i have you guys in right now isn't actually where you guys are okay sorry so you're you're up in the upstairs so this just appears to be a small altar towards uh specifically lavandria and argrius okay but it it appears that there once was a town here but has not been in decades All right. Well, I go up to the altar, grab my dagger, cut my hand a little bit, and drop, put three dots on the ground and tribute Ugh. to Argus. Okay. Thank you. They absorb into the altar. Do I notice? I'd like to see if I can find anything of interest. Um, roll an investigation check. You know that I've got uh, plus zero. Like I've got. I'm, I'm oh, not gonna. I, I got that. I got the headband of intellect. I'm good. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna change it. But I decided on investigation. Oh. <laughs> um. Well. I think you got a six, right? Um, uh -huh. What does a seven get me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so much better than my six. What you have. Now? You have discovered a church that was once in ruins. Now is in further ruins as all of the books that were uh, on the shelf are no longer on the shelf. Do I notice anything that looks like it's potentially readable? No. And you find the same things that Z uh, yeah, Granny but Apple Ziggy, has. Or Granny Apple's only interested in Volcanus. I'm interested in all the guns. You don't really see anything that looks anything like a lot of the books that you see that would maybe be readable aren't anything special hmm. you find nothing of value or, or of interest huh um Can I light my torch and see where the smoke goes? See if there's any hidden passages. Um, there's a big hole in the ground. I mean, I'm walking up. I want to go look at the big hole in the ground. Well, I don't see the Tell hole. Tell me more about the big as hole. Far, the as far as the smoke goes, goes, Odin it behaves normally. Like the open windows and stuff like that. The ta the shattered, you know, roof and stuff like that. You don't notice any specific area that the smoke is is trailing. But again, there's a big hole in the ground. <laughs> um, Granny Apple, you see a hole in the ground. It's very dark uh -huh. down there. Okay. Huh. Um, just, with with your I dark for that. Wait. With your dark oh, vision okay. that you have. Uh huh. Um. You can see down into the bottom of the hole. 
uh, obviously in black and white. It's not that far down, um, but it appears to be another floor. How far down is it? I would say probably about 20 to 30 feet. Huh, so jumping's probably a bad idea. Would probably not uh, be the best idea. You uh, do see. What do I see? Roll me another. Uh, roll me a perception check this time. With. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. And Odiden, it, if, if Ziggy says anything or if you notice her looking around, you may assist her. I see. I got a nine. Her down the hole, and I'm going to throw my torch down there. You see the floor. You also have dark vision. Yeah, no, but I'm in grayscale. Like, I wanted actual... You you see the floor in color now. It's gray. Okay. Do I notice yeah, anything I got down an, there? I got a nine. Do I see things with my nine? What's your roll with, <laughs> roll with advantage, because Odiden is going to assist you, right? Right? Yeah. Oh. Is that... Oh, okay, sorry? Odiden, roll a perception check, Odiden. Man, usually I'm the one that rolls. Yeah, she's yeah. giving me... I, I'm, yeah. I'm invoking my yeah, roll because she, she gave the uh, help. He gave the help action. Now he gets to do basically the okay. get out of my way. I got this. Yeah, so perception, um, I got a nine. What the hell is what? Oh, okay, let me get let me do my second roll for advantage. Hold on. Why did I roll so well? Okay, They're yeah, rolling so bad. Away. Okay, that second roll was a total of a six. No, <laughs> dear God. Um, you guys see a fucking ladder nearby. God damn. Oh, a ladder. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll get on the ladder. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> when they yeah, fail, nice. the, when they fail, the most simplest of checks. Oh my God. <laughs> it was a, DC guys, was like fucking ten. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I had a well, passive my passive of perception is ten. Oh, my brilliant! You passively notice a fucking ladder in the. Oh, cool. <laughs> you passively. I go and I climb down the ladder. It's not passively. in the hole, but like I would. Oh, I grab the ladder and I put it in the hole. And it I fits. Climb it. I climb down. Okay, you both fit. are down at the. <laughs> sure, I'm down. You guys are both down into the hole now. Amazing. It's not my fault. What else do I see? Okay. You see what is before you here in Tailspire, an old looking church, maybe? Temple? Mm -hmm. You're not really sure. Can I do a religion check to find out? From your current location, it might be a bit difficult to actually determine anything. I see. That's so fascinating. You don't see anything, any markings around your current location. Okay. I, I mean, I guess I would have shared with. I mean, I'll s I I start walking first, right? Because I'm I'm the I'm the one that's meant to get hit, you know. So I I guess I start walking forward slowly. Cautiously looking around, trying to find secret and clues about As you take religion. a step forward, you hear a click. I step back really quickly Don't and move. duck it down. <laughs> um. And all of the torches in the room light ablaze. Oh, that's oh. fine. Okay, I, I step forward. That could have been bad. As the artificer, I would have thought you would have known to be careful of traps. I said, hey, in, in my Ziggy's defense, I said cautiously and looking for secrets and clues. Does Fair secrets enough. not include traps? No. Okay. Um, There's actually a spell called this tech traps, so yeah. Well, I don't have that spell. What do you want from me? Um... <laughs> You to bully Berg into letting you have it. I don't know. Berg, give me more spells. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would. Well, detect traps is also useless. You're right. I should have let you roll for that, but 
it was just, just to turn it on. Matter. No, it doesn't matter. The um, two things that I, the two things yeah, that I wanted to establish here, is this, and I'll say this from a meta perspective. The things that are in this map, in terms of it, nothing, is just a prop. So this is, I, I'm going to basically say it this way. This is your all first dungeon. The things that are in here are not all just props. There are puzzles here. There are traps. That is basically what I was trying to establish with that. Just watch your step, be careful, and keep your eyes open. See, the problem is... I hit tab to try to see where everybody was, so I already saw something. Um, pressing tab will not help you. It did reveal one case. something. Yeah, kind of. But it's fine. Anyway. Anyway. and I are smart. We're not going to die. I can't believe we're re-rolling characters. My... <laughs> I can't to my god. I might be protected by his wife. I don't know. <laughs> So you guys step forward. You, um, Odin, you still have control of Ziggy's character. Okay. Um, uh, detect magic is still active, right? So. Correct. Is there anything magical? Um, you do see a trace line from the step uh, from the uh, of arcane magic that had led from the stone that Ziggy had or the tile that Ziggy had stepped on towards Granny each apples? of the torches. All right. That's all? All right. All I notice is um, the, the magical line going from where you step to the torches. Nothing else magical in the room. That being said... So, yeah, I, I probably would have noticed that before she stepped on them. Oh. Yeah. Well, um, but, you probably would have. But, you know, but again, it wasn't dangerous. Granny Apple was being to... Granny Apple, you know, I would have just rushed forward anyway. Um, there's also a bit of magic emanating from the altar. And you would yeah. notice, or you would recognize it as from the school of necromancy. There may be some dangerous magic on that altar. I can't say how dangerous, since it is an altar to both Alevandria and Argus, from what I could ascertain upstairs. We should be careful near the altar. Let's go touch it. I, I feel we should be careful everywhere in this oh, Of course. Room. There's obviously traps. That being said, you lead the way. Uh, Ziggy, you did mention that you would like to look around for secrets and other other stuff. Um, I would like yeah. you to roll an investigation and a and actually, you know what? Go ahead and roll that religion check. Okay. Wait. Investigation for... Wait. Do you want both of them? Yes, or both, please. One? Okay. Investigation they will affect for... They will affect each other. Um, Ooh. That's a... Wait, what's math? 13 plus 4 is 17. 17. Investigation. <laughs> yeah, I know Everybody. that's my best one yet. Everybody, big thirteen. All right, and then religion. Ooh, nineteen plus four, twenty-three. Okay. Get together, Ziggy, guys. You will recognize from your investigation check that this place does not appear to have been entered in centuries. Maybe even mm -hmm. longer. Hmm. From the religion, you recognize something kind of eerily similar. The architecture of this isn't human. It's very similar to the things that you found out in the desert. Huh. Interest. And you do see statues ahead, but you can't discern their visage yet. Hmm. How close I gotta get to see who they are? 
Probably up close to the altar. No, that's okay. I'm busy. <laughs> okay. Do I see her hesitating or? Yeah, it's up to Ziggy as to whether she is hesitating. I mean, oh, no. she... you see Grim stuff, but I don't. <laughs> is still moving forward pretty cautiously. I think as she got, you know how there's like the little steps there? She wouldn't go further than that little circle bit. She wouldn't get up on a step. That's so right too about close here. to the altar. Yeah, that's as close as she would get. She would not get any, she would do a full stop there, but she would walk cautiously okay. slowly up till there and based then do a full on, stop. Based upon your previous checks and from this location, you can't determine who these figures are. You've never seen them before. Hmm. And I would have followed directly in her footsteps since I said she's going first. However, <laughs> you recognize, you can't discern it from here, but you recognize very similar glyphs. You recognize the Can language that is written, not from this location, it's too small from here. But you recognize the script and recognize that the things here are written in ancient Elvish. I speak Elvish. You can make out a few similar glyphs, but you can't read it. Fair enough. Um, Ziggy specifically actually has something for that based uh, on her background. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Cheater. No. <laughs> it's ancient writing Fair <laughs> how i learned how to read anyways um oh man oh but i she wants to know so terribly what the words say you've enticed me with knowledge Peter, throw seeker. are you ready to um, yourself? if you want i can try something to see if it's safe to step on it as you've also approached you do notice there are or should have been three statues, but one of them is in ruin. Oh. In ruin, in the ruins? Ooh. Broken oh into pieces. Oh my god. And oh. the elvish script that was on the plaques beneath it have been scratched out. Can I, oh wait, I have mending. I think that would fix it. Mending would fix the statue. We would have to, listen, let's focus on, it. let's focus on reading those words. I okay. want to read them. Let, let me try something. I'm going to attach one of my pitons, python, however you pronounce it, python, right? Okay. To a rope Um, and toss it in front of me bit by bit to check the steps to see if anything happens. So you're using it as a weight? Yes. Okay. See if anything activates. Um so take it take it step by step then. Yep. With your model. So you drop it in the square ahead of you? Yep. Nothing. Clink. As the python hits the ground. You hear no other further sounds. Oh gosh, this is such a terrible idea, but I gotta read the words. Alright, I step forward. Uh, well, I was taking oh, a step wait, by wait, step. No, okay, okay. I'll yeah. wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Patiently. Clink. Clink. Oh, man. Link. Well, that one sounded a little different. <laughs> Put me up there. Put me up there Link. with you next to you. Put me up there. I'm oh, wait. You. Why? Wait. Why did it grab? Damn it. No. I'm not trying to move myself. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's move. Why? How do I? There we go. Like that's not what I wanted. Okay. Um. All right. Since my hand is still bleeding a little bit, I drip a little bit more blood on the ground and see what happens. Oh, 
The blood hits the ground. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't absorbed this time. There's still massive amounts of necrotic energy coming from that altar. Mm -hmm. Rock, paper, scissors, see who touches it. I don't think either of us should touch it. I think we should read the words and then come back later. So which one can, which one is destroyed? Well, we don't the know one the one to words your right. Scratched out. The one to my right. Oh, okay. Um so I'm going to throw the Can I read item. anything from here? Well, I'm going to get as close as I can using the rope trick. Uh -huh. I guess that's as close as I can, right? I'm within touching range. Can I attempt to mend the plaque? You mend the plaque, and it is just... You mend it to not have scratches anymore. There you go. Can you read it now? Can I, any can I read there it? There is no text on it, though. Oh, interesting. It was scratched out. Right, and you mended the bronze. So you mended all of it, even the writing off of it. It's fine. Um, can I read the other one? I'm closer now. Well, if the if the writing itself was engraving, right, and you cast yeah. mending on it, it would no longer be engraved. Wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he basically erased any information. <laughs> yep. Right. However, you can see the other two uh, plaques from here, Ziggy. Um, Should I try minting on them, see if something else happens? <laughs> no. You, you <laughs> see... Um, Directly ahead of you, um, the statue appears to be a woman. In fine robes. You see the name, the Blessed Mother. Would that be Alavandria? Well, I can't read it. Never mind. Nelixis. How do you spell that? N I X. Double Q P R. I don't know. Uh, give me just one second. Uh, N A L L I X I S. Okay, thank you. Well, unless you share that information, I don't know what it says. Oh, is that both of their name? The two of them? Yeah, I mean. To the two. left, you see the Life Weaver. Why does that sound like? And do you see a name that sends almost a chill through your spine, but you can't understand why? Like, it's almost as though it's on the tip of your tongue. Like, you should know you've heard this name before. You've seen this name before, but you can't figure out where. Zithrum. Wait, Zithram didn't, or Zithra? Uh, Zithram. the gods give okay. us the name? The Titans did not. No, they didn't. Oh. I mean, you were hearing mm. what I was doing, like, out of the game. That's working. I look at the words. There is a like, third... Sorry, there's a third script that you see on the altar itself. Wisdom. 
comes to those who are not afraid to lose. I don't, Demarcus. And I say, do you think, do you think if I do something really ill-advised that we can make it out of here, even if things go bad? What are you thinking? All right. So here's what I see on Here's what the words are. Under this statue, the Blessed Mother, Nalixis. Did this... we hear about Nalixis from as you the Chaos did. God, right? You did. Yes. You remember that name specifically from Elevandria saying that she was the god of chaos. So one why... of the Shattered. So that's one of the Shattered. I believe these... This might be a temple to the shed. But above was Alexandria and Yes, Andrea. but so would you think that maybe the, they took the, the building of this temple though it's not like it's not like other temples. It wasn't made I I don't know. It wasn't made by us, you know? Ziggy, you remember also, based off of your investigation check, the temple or the, the church that was built on top was a lot newer. You would say probably built within the past century versus this temple, which you think is un you can't even begin to guess how old it is. You got it. The church on top it was just built on top of this temple. It wasn't they're not the same. It was built on top of this one. It's way newer. There were rumors with a uh, priest that taught me. He mentioned that the current gods banished the shattered. So it could be that they took their power and destroyed every reminder of their churches. Now, if you look at this statue, that one's really shattered. Um, yes. We forgot him um, forever. The next, the next one says the life weaver, weaver, Zithram. I feel like that name sounds familiar, but I can't place it. I don't know it, but it terrifies me. Can I attempt to and remember? I don't know why. As much as you try and the more you seem to struggle with it, Odaiden, the more it seems to slip away from you. It's right there. You can just, you can almost recall the memory, but it's just infinitely just out of your reach. And now, here's the thing that really makes me want to make some bad decisions. The last plaque that I can read says, Wisdom comes to those who are not afraid to lose. Well then. You're thinking... We should touch the altar. I gotta see what's in... I, I gotta see what the necrotic energy is. Ah, uh, yes. Um, what does that plaque say at your feet? Do you look down? My feet? Yeah. Are you talking about the one that... As she looks down, I touch the altar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh. The toxic! 
Oh yeah. <laughs> it's my whole job. Hello, end game moment. <laughs> um speaking of end game, uh <laughs> nothing happens. Oh no. Oh well. I look back up at you and I see you touching the altar and I'm like, hey, I said I, I said was gonna do it. I know, but and I smack my hand down on the altar. <laughs> I couldn't let you risk yourself. Nothing happens. Hmm. There's surely got to be something in the area. Why don't we go try uh, catching other things and first one to find the Sirga twins. Yeah. So you guys are literally I, just going to go around touching everything? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait, hold on. You're ready to make new oh, characters. I, I knew there was traps, and that's why I want to see how impulsive let's this be, snake was. Let's be a little bit more strategic <laughs> about this. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> new character I don't time. Want to touch everything. <laughs> let's think about this for a moment, guys. <laughs> Calm down. I climb up on the cliff, but I have the high ground, and <laughs> <laughs> No, um... <clears throat> um. um also Ziggy now that you are a little bit closer I also and actually on the top step mm -hmm. your investigation roll you will see mm -hmm. tracks metal tracks from the altar tracks Didn't I... you you can I actually visually see it in tailspire if you look at the in front of the altar Oh, so it moved. I see that. Can I move it? You're going to attempt to, like, pull it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, roll strong. a strength check. I'm in a big mech suit. I'm strong. Um... Listen. Yeah, that would be straight. Just roll a straight strength check. You're trying to push it, but if I remember correctly, you were able to move some rubble pretty easily by that bridge. Trying to pull it. Thank you very much. Uh, fair enough. I guess I'll help. Um, mid. Mm, 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 no. Mm. Nope, I'm not allowed. Okay. I got a, I got a uh, six. It does oh. not. Budge at all. Can I attempt to push? You may attempt once as well. Oh, 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 uh, let's see. I rolled a four, so. No. I got a three. It does not budge. <laughs> Worker really good at rolling. Yeah, I know. That's why I was asking um... about the help option. We said no, so. Oh, sorry. I was saying no to my role. Oh, yeah, no. That's what I was trying to say, offering help, but yeah. Misunderstood. That's all good. I was trying to give you advantage. Either way. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, we can't How budget about... this way. What if you uh, used Thunder Wave to move it? That seems like a bad idea. Does it, though? To use Thunder Wave, a spell that I cannot control exact like everything it touches in a place that is a little bit falling apart, feels like a bad idea. With my magical me. vision, can I see a trail leading from the altar to anywhere? Um... You cannot. Hmm. Well, something's got to move that. Maybe a hidden tre a pressure plate or something like the torches. Hmm. It's possible. I'll take the right side of the wall, you take the left. Deal. 
Yeah. We look all right. at all the torches. So I'll move up here. Um, the torches specifically on the walls and stuff like that, like back back here. All of the torches. Okay. Um. Roll a perception combined with investigation, both of you. Mm, okay. Perception Best first. Good. Ten. That was actually my best roll of the night. Oh, I gotta write this down. I was gonna forget. Okay. Perception ten. Investigation nineteen. Okay. Hold on. Um. Perception is gonna be twenty-two. And investigation uh, 19. So 22 and 19. Uh, as you both look around and stuff like that, you guys get the sense that you don't see anything that indicates or from the clues that you've gotten so far that the torches would really have anything to do with this specific altar. Hmm. Do you see anything else on the ground? I want to look at the, like the. Hmm. Can I Ooh, search the? Go see that. Oh yeah, the suit of armor. Yeah, well, if we're gonna do it, then for sure. No, 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 we can do it together. Okay. Let's go together. Teamwork. Um, the. We both have the same exact idea. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It is a corpse. Oh. Just bones at this point. Hmm. In armor. Hmm. I guess he didn't have the guts to finish this challenge. Okay. Come She's on. gonna kill me down here. <laughs> Two go I down, one come up. Is <laughs> and stab him. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I was like, do you? <laughs> no, no. no. Haha, <laughs> JK, gotcha. Um, hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the altar. I can I see anything up on that upper ledge or is it too dark? Well, you have night vision or well, you have yeah. dark vision rather. Um, you don't see anything specific. No. No. Or you don't see anything that really catches your eye and stuff like that. Just more rubble. Um. I take my um, look at wait, did I move this screen around a bunch of I see more things. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Um mm -hmm. how many is is there these squares on the ground? If I step in like the middle of these little squares, does that do anything? Nope. Dang. Not that you can tell, anyway. Ugh. Dang. Well. Hmm. We may just need to come back in the morning with everyone. You also remember, by the way, you did read an inscription on the altar itself. What did it say? Wisdom comes to those who are not afraid to lose. I know, but what am I... I lay down on the altar. Oh, goodness. It would make a very uncomfortable bed. <laughs> that is what you determine. I walk up. And... Ah, no. Just kidding. Um... <laughs> You about to sacrifice me? <laughs> what? No. What? Huh? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wow. Um. His bitch. Uh, I get out of my mech suit and I put Walter hand. Sorry, you did what? I get out of my mech suit. 
She gets out of her mech suit. I get out of my mech I get out of my mech suit and I touch... I... I, I, I get off the altar with Marcus. But in my real Abby. That's me. As much as the bed was would have been uncomfortable, as much as it would have been an uncomfortable bed for one person, it would be extremely uncomfortable bed for two people, especially someone that you're not really that familiar with yet. I well, take a standing up. I take a bottle of my wine, pour it in the bowl-looking thing at the front of the altar. Oh, good. Why you put blood in there? You hear a click. And the altar Wait, begins I... to slide. I get back in my mech suit. <laughs> I just had to look at that altar at the right angle because I kept looking at an angle where I couldn't see. Oh god, yeah, I'm floating. I, I fully didn't see the Oh, you're floating. There we go. No. Well, since I took the altar away from you, do you want to have the honors of going down first? Of course. I go down. Immediately. Let's go. I'm ready. Oh god. Have you we guys are down? going to proceed without the rest of the party? I no, think that's my we shouldn't. Oh, oh, yes, so... I, I am. No. <laughs> I am oh, okay, I guess if you are, I am. <laughs> they didn't want the loot. It's all ours. We were being smart. So feel free to, to endeavor with half of a party. Okay. Um, See, so yeah, I picked up my torch while we were searching, so I have my torch down there to help because I don't know how dark it is down there. By the way, how long did it take them to do all this stuff? Like, is it like the morning or is it like... No, oh so um, this is still prior. This is still during the period of time that you were... Uh, I was asleep? Talking to Chaos. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. You guys get down to the second floor. Um, it is extremely dark down here. Well, I have my torch, so. All right. Well, what do you think? I think this is a terrible idea. <laughs> well, obviously. Mm -hmm. But remember, mm -hmm. those who are willing to lose it all will be rewarded. For sure. That is not what it is. Not. <laughs> not <laughs> I'm trying to twist the words I... to get her to go. Okay. <laughs> Don't you take this from me. <laughs> Marcus is pure evil. <laughs> Here's... Okay. Sure. Good. What are we doing? Where are we going? What do you want to do? Are you serious? You want to do this? I kind of do. Okay. Let's I mean, do it. knowledge. I mean, there's got to be great knowledge down here. Ancient secrets that haven't been seen for decades, centuries. Granny Apple's such a pushover. <laughs> well, I'm not going to leave him alone. I highly <laughs> recommend maybe getting the rest of the party. Oh, I know. That's I why. Tried. I... <laughs> hey, Berg, I tried. I tried. I, I said it was a bad idea. You should just drag Marcus. You have like way more strength than he is in your giant mech suit. You can literally just drag him back. I actually have. I actually am not strong. You have yeah, a mech you... suit. That that feeling of this is a bad idea is overwhelming. <laughs> we shall come okay. back. <laughs> I just wanted to see if your thirst for knowledge was stronger than your thirst for safety. One of the things about um, 
someone who wants knowledge is they also typically have knowledge already. And one of the things I know is safety in numbers. Well spoken. Shall I okay. go back to camp? Yes. So, I'm going to take you guys back to the beginning of the dungeon for the moment. <laughs> um, what? Why didn't that move? Oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to say, why are you, did you, why are you hidden? There we go. Um, I'm not going to switch maps or anything like that, but you guys get back to camp around the same time that, um, Glocknada and Eric are changing shifts. Okay, so... I kind of, like, jostle up, because I literally just said bye to Manlius, and I hear, like, footsteps. Like, yeah. I'm bracing myself. So... Hey, guys! Oh! Oh, it's you guys. Hey! Uh, we found a temple to the Shattered Ones, I think. Oh! What? Oh. Hmm. We came back and stopped exploring it because that seemed like a bad idea a good good mm. wise without you guys um so we came back but yeah we found it there was a temple and then under that temple was another temple that was so old so old guys you have no idea it was so old um and there was some ancient writing and uh it had the names nelixis the Blessed Mother and Zithra, the Life Weaver. Uh, um, wait. And huh? What? Huh? No, no, go on. What? Go on. I mean, um, both Lachnada and and uh, Eric know the name Nelixis as yeah. well. So yeah, you guys would oh. rightfully. Yeah, I'm like I'm like shocked. I also Sorry, know Zithrum because of you know what I just experienced. So I'm like shocked. Like, oh wait, what? I gasp. Yeah, um, so that's... And Alexis mentioned think... to you that they were brother and sister, or at yes. least called themselves think... brother and yeah. sister. Well, brothers, yeah. yeah. Well, I think that... Nelixis when in Alabama. Sorry. Go on, go on, Ziggy. I think that pretty much sums up my report. Um... Yeah. Well, well, so I... either we can go back there in the morning, or we just keep heading on to heading on south. Well, we we have we have to go back. I agree, uh, and I like chime in. Like, yeah, I know exactly who Nelixis and Zithram are. Dun dun dun! I All know right. who looks at this, but I, ex I expected. Expected more of a more of a shock. Zithrum, huh? Yeah. So, so that's the name of one of the sh shattered. Well, when huh. I was uh, when I was sleeping, you uh, all are getting that feeling, by the way, of like I've heard this name before, but I can't pin it. I can't figure out where I I've heard this name. Why do I feel like I've heard it before? You guys too. I feel like tongue, I isn't know. It? Yes. All right. Karama. The the pirates can wait. We have to go back there tomorrow. Yeah, I'm I'm down what? to go there. Uh, so guys, I uh, I talked to chaos. Again? Oh no! Why? Oh no! Hey, hey, hey Eric. Why? So. Oh. I figure the more knowledge we have, the better we'll be. I mean, you're right, but still, there are ways to get. What are you willing to trade yourself. for that knowledge? I didn't have to trade what anything. It was great. For that knowledge. I didn't have to trade nothing. 
I'm, I'm clever. Sure you, I'm sure you traded something. Uh, no, I, I mean, the, the first, the first kind of act I made with no, her, like, that's still kind of live. So, like, that's, that's a whole nother thing. We'll get to that. We'll get to that in a sec. Knowledge always comes with a price. Not this Remember time. That. I got it. That's what you think. It'll come back to bite you. It always does. Uh, why'd you have to go and talk to her? I just glare at manliness. Are you done? Yeah, with you being a fucking idiot sometimes. <laughs> okay. I'm just like, ignore whatever he's saying. So, back to what you guys discovered at this ruins. I know who Zithrum is. Zithrum is known as the Devourer. Turns out, that heart that we had, that we gave to the Titans, that's his heart. And he wants that back. And Chaos wants it for whatever other reason. He wouldn't tell me why, and I wasn't making a pact with her. Not another one. Well, now it's pretty obvious that we can't let any of them get it. Now that we know that. Ah. I think we'll learn more if we go to the runes and maybe find out some information that might be... Might not necessarily being told to us correctly. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still on the fence about all this stuff. I mean, you know, I'm, ha I'm happy to save the world, but there's a lot of information that hasn't been told to us. And I agree I'm with you. I'm learning other things from the God of Chaos, and I'm learning things from the Titans. So I'm cool with, because no matter what, I have to do whatever this Chaos God asks me to. Because if I don't, she's going to take my body, and I'm going to be dead. And then she's going to be me. So wait, like, we can't wait, let that wait, happen. Wait. So... I what? am fine with talking to Chaos and the gods and just being this vessel of knowledge for you guys to try and piece this together. Because we need to be on top of our toes for ourselves as well. Because it's our world. So we're going to have a shapeshift if we fail. Thank... Wow. Jesus. I mean, you knew what you were signing up for, Manliness, when you became a, her tit a herald of the Titans. Nothing's I ever going to be I easy. I was signing it up for. I didn't know what you signed up for. But it's not affecting uh, you. It could. But it, regardless, we gotta get some Shed-Eye. We got some rooms to go to tomorrow. You, you were just sleeping. Just go back. Go back to sleep if you want to sleep. I got. We, we gotta talk more. There's more information here we gotta learn. I still haven't shared everything. You're hiding, you're hiding stuff from us already? I have been the most transparent of everybody. I'm not hiding anything. You just keep interrupting me while I'm trying to explain things. And what I've learned. Alright, then I'll stop. Thank you. So I know who Zithrim is. Apparently the, known as the Devourer. The god of chaos, Nelixis, is uh, potentially related in some way. She called Zithrim like her brothers. So that's really interesting. And it seems that Zithrum is trying to reclaim his spot in all of this, whatever that means. I was also talking to Karama, and this sense that I'm assuming you're all feeling that we know a name that we can't place, he's experiencing it as well. So it's not just us then? No. And Karama, as you guys know, was allied with the former heralds. So it could be something that's dating back to them. Well, it depends. Do you know how old those ruins were? You two? Biden? Oh, it was, was so long ago, so old. So old. Before... Marcus humans for each time that you see somebody mentioning the name zithrum you see around their heads as though a crown i said it a lot magic that reads as enchantment zithrum 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 interesting I'll keep it to myself for now.
Is there anything else you guys learned from the runes? Like, like how much did you investigate it? Uh, we went deeper than we should have, but not as deep as we wanted. Well, at last I tempted the poor snake with knowledge, but being the head of reason, she convinced me to leave. Well, I'm glad you guys came back. God only knows what was down there. The gods, gods only know. Gods only know. How dare you forget the others? I it's didn't. I didn't I specify think. which one. Remember, I am. I am the herald of Okaris. I will Don't never. I, I will I... never speak Okaris' name in vain. Even I don't know if the gods know everything sometimes. Ugh, this it's is all a gods. jumbled mess. If the gods knew everything, they wouldn't need titans. Tell me, does anyone have dispel magic? I only have detect magic. Same. Nope. Oh. Well, I, I hope you guys are all right. Were you hurt at all when exploring? No. Not this time. That's good. Nothing happened. I mean, my hand is bleeding, but that's nothing special. He did that to himself. Um, You're making me look we... less manly. <laughs> I'm just saying what happened. I'm telling the facts. I, I, that's what I always do. Anyways, we just moved to Altar, and then... So, okay, there was a big temple in the big hole in that temple. We went into the hole, found the temple of the Shattered, and then moved an altar that led us down into a dungeon that's very, very dark. And then we came back. Nothing else happened. That's the entire story. Yes, nothing else. <clears throat> why, why, um, why was there a temple within a temple? It looked like there was an attempt to erase all knowledge of the previous temple. Oh. They built and... on top of it. Okay, and the what new was... The temple was a lot more recent. Okay, and what, what and... was the new temple, like, for, like, were they worshipping, like, gods? So the new temple was for Argrius and Alavandria. That makes sense. Yes, it does. And, and then the lore, lower they ones, the Shattered? the Shattered, and erased them from the annuals of history. I, I am familiar with those stories. That makes sense. Okay. Hmm. Now, there, one of the statues was a bunch of rubble. So, you know, you could really say that shattered was shattered. That's that's fair. <laughs> Interesting. So, hmm. You guys you... would recall that there were... That it was mentioned that there are three shattered. Right. Well, yeah, that's why I was making that comment. Yeah. Just to reinforce that. Guys, do you think that maybe, maybe, nothing is purely good or purely evil? No, yes. there is such thing as pure evil. I will say, I've I've always viewed the world in a shade of gray, and now I've seeing, seen, I've seen pure evil. Don't ask me to say there's not. Okay. But it's interesting that after defeating the Shattered, who seem to have been, these were temples, seem to have been worshipped by people, then had a new temple built on top of it, and we can't even remember a lot of this information. That's something that I'm going to take note of. I am going to revisit the God of Chaos at a future time. I, I will tell tell you guys that. Looks as as long, nose. As, as long as you don't get yourself killed, you can do whatever you want. I'm just here to do a job, and that job is a bigger pain in my ass than I thought it would be. No, I'm with you there. I've thrown myself into things I never thought I would. But I've learned to have no fear. A little fear would do you good sometimes. Regardless, I'm going to bed. We got ruins to watch. Look at tomorrow. I look at Karama and I start heading towards our tent. There is a I'm... concerned look on Karama's face. 
I understand, Karoma. So we're we're going to be okay. I just... This is a lot of information to take in. No. Things that I don't fully understand. Even me. For as long as that I've lived. It's not going to do us to dwell on it. We'll rest, and hopefully we'll get more answers from this dungeon we're going to explore. Hmm? I hope so. I will go ahead and take the next watch. You get some sleep. Okay. Um, I'm going um, to basically skip this it, next phase. Or the all end will... of night. Okay. I did want to pull Granny Apple's side and have a private conversation. Okay. Granny Apple. I don't mm -hmm. quite know what the other two are up to. I'm having trouble trusting the one that's making the chaos. Has trying to make it his plaything. So, let's keep this between us. Every time the name Zithrum was mentioned, I noticed a weird aura of magic above our heads, as if there's an enchantment making us forget. The name is important. The Titans don't want us to know. We need to figure out. Mm. The name is important. We should do what we can. I will keep this a secret because you've asked me to, not because I mistrust our companions. <laughs> we have been chosen for one reason or another. Well, you can see that they're keeping secrets from us, and we don't know what that might be. Until we do you know not where they're going. have any loyalty. secrets? We all have secrets. Of course. But what I'm saying is. I don't know. It's just until I know where their loyalty lies, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I will make sure. Especially that with I do that not one forget this name. For chaos. That's fair. I'm not right. comfortable with that either, but that is not my choice. Um, I will make sure that I have this name written down right. in many books. Therefore, even if we forget, I will read it over and over again. All right. We will remember. Yeah. And I'm going to... Uh, on my watch, I'm going to attempt to read uh, from the book I borrowed from Grand Apple to see if I can um, focus on it better tonight while I'm on right. watch. Um, roll a d10. Um, let me find a d10. I Five. have... Um, while he's doing that, I'm going to send everybody on a... We're going to take a quick break. So let's do 10 minutes. So in the morning, you all, you know, do your normal stuff and head out to the temple. You go through the church um, and find the rift where they had previously set a ladder and find yourself on the first floor where um... uh, since we're here, actually, I'm going to just deep dispel myself. There you go. Okay. Might as well. I'm just going to light my torch that I have on me. Okay. So, you two. How far did you make it down here? Well, if you come with us, I walked know. through the room and up to the altar. Um, Granny Apple. Did you forget that there's traps all over this floor? I yeah, but she would remember the... Walked. Yeah, she would remember where she walked. I know how I walked. You, but you walked? But you I, uh, I'd like to uh, try to, like, see how she walked and just memorize her pathing. Have to follow her to where she is. Okay. I'm assuming this is booby-trapped for any apple. Oh, I'm going to take random steps across the floor and see if I can find <laughs> anything. Anyway. Are you, you're doing what as you walk across the floor? Just like jumping all over the place as I go across the floor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you jump around all over the place and you look like an idiot while doing it. And uh, if I had some bread, I could be an idiot sandwich. <laughs> I look down at Karama. 
Uh, from it, are you sensing anything here, like ne necrotic energy or, or anything? From the altar, yes. But it seems as though it's already been moved. If there's any further magic to it, I wouldn't have any knowledge of this. But he, you see him staring up at the statues. This is knowledge beyond mine. What you all have found here, I... Well, we never knew anything about any of this. This is even before the Heralds. See? This is I, before... I, I... This is before Argrius and Alavandria's administration. This was the beginning, wasn't it? It was. But I don't if you know look... if no, it was the beginning, that. but... Well... well I assume that you're translating what Karama is saying to the rest of the Yeah. Party. Remember, yeah. guys, only I can hear Karama. Oh, that's right. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, Sorry. We'll, we'll just... You know All what? Right. I need to, like, get myself an ability where I can just telepathically just, like, share information. But that'll be a, another There's episode. a spell that does that. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll get one. I might eventually give something like that as well, even if I just have to fucking homebrew it, because it would make things a lot easier. For <laughs> yeah, everybody. yeah. <laughs> um... Okay, forget I said that then. All right, keep going. Well, no, I'm just going to run by the assumption. Yeah, just we're running by the assumption that I'm just, just saying it back just to you guys. Relaying everything, yeah. And mm. Karama can understand you, you all. So yes. Um, so what was your question again, Lachnada? I I didn't ask a question. I was you just made like, a... if it's if it's like. Because I said from the beginning, but like I didn't mean like the oh, beginning. Right, right. The beginning, I just meant the beginning of like civil, like civilization all those years ago. Because Legend that's... said that there was a civilization before, but again, I, I mean, it was the Empire of Shalea, the ancient elves, but. Again, this is knowledge that I don't really possess. It was before my time. Mm. Do we know what caused the Shatter to become Shattered? The stories that we had always heard and what was always told to us is that they fell into chaos. It is the, the reason of the cycle, the reason that we do what we do, the reason why no one is granted eternal life. If you guys look at that statue there, you can see it's actually one of the shattered. Which one? I'm pointing to the broken statue. Oh. <laughs> now is not the time for jokes, Marcus. Oh, come Although, on. Now, what... Something to lighten the mood before we go down into this obviously dangerous hole. I'm I, I actually me. finally I, noticed the hole. <laughs> I'm trying to I... brighten our spirits in this dark time. Yeah, I understand that. And I do have to give credit where credit is due. Yeah, yeah Siggy. Could I have changed out my, my magic item during our long rest? Yes, you no? could have. Like the one that I make instead of the like uh, yes, of you water can. breathing. Yep. Okay, cool. I want to bring with me the Everbright Lantern instead. Okay. Um, so you there's have water down there. Have an Everbright Lantern instead then. Thanks. I've already jumped down the hole because I just don't care about the banter anymore. Sheds light in a 120 foot cone. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can see. Oh, yeah, you couldn't I see before. You guys, not everyone in the party has dark vision. I think yeah. everybody see? but me. Well, I pulled out my torch too. It's just now I'm down the hole, so it's see? all down there. Granny apples, the light of our life. Okay, so well, you're all going down the hole. I, yeah. I've already, I've already fell down it. Yeah. I was just like, oh, boop, I'm down. Okay, well. I don't know how to get out of this hole. Oh, I'm just only halfway, okay. 
That works. I was going to try to navigate it. Uh, since I'm the first one that fell down, I just want to see if uh, there's any, like, animals around, like, uh, let me think, like, ones, that example. There's a I don't snake. Want... Yes, that's true. Funny uh, you mentioned that, actually. Yeah, as I just want to think, fact. yeah, you know what, instead of me listing out animals, do I perceive any animals down here? I would like you to make a perception check. Understood. As... You mentioned that actually, as a matter of fact. Okay. Perception check to see. I mean, I can't believe we're about to find an owl bear down here in the cave. <laughs> Pretty wow. much the stuff, man. I got a 17. Owl bear. You hear scuttling from the hole that you just came down and rushing down the stairs. Uh, guys, there's something, something behind us. Can I eat it? I, I brace. I brace for a fight. So you I all brace. Around. You all brace I, for a fight. I turn around. And I point my gun. I turn around and I point his gun. I mean my gun. <laughs> you see a squirrel. <gasps> oh, uh, my little guy. Uh, that looks tasty. Nobody's eating my squirrel. Hi, squirrel. He is strangely standing on both of his hind legs. You're a smart like, little guy. In a very noble pose. Can we I, put the torch on him so we can see him better? Yeah, I, so... I shine my torch out, outwards. Well, no, thank you. Oh. oh. I could like um, I couldn't see him in the thing, yeah. Oh. He I... resp the, the squirrel responds to Eric's patronizing not patronizing. I think he's adorable. Don't you talk down to me, creatin? Not talking what down to you. The... You're adorable, man. You want to be my friend? I am not adorable. I am honorable and noble. Oh, I like go into my hand. I pick out a bunch of like uh, acorns and, and whatnot. I just throw them at his feet. How dare thee? Do you not know who I am? No, I, uh, don't, I don't. Do you, only... do, you not, do you not like so... acorns? It's only Eric hearing this, or are we all hearing this? Only me, because I'm hearing, speaking to him. All you are hearing is ferocious squeaking. Yeah, because oh, okay. I, I, okay. I talk to animals. Yes. My my, uh, I... my piety allows me just to always have it. How dare you attempt to bribe me with nuts and acorns? I'm not bribing you. I thought you were hungry. You've been in this dungeon for gosh knows how long. Nonsense. I just entered. I saw a hole in the ground that was not here before, and decided that I, the noble Sir Godfrey Warnius Artus Palwin of Theridan, would explore. Well, it's an honor to meet you, Sir Godfrey. I didn't realize I was in royalty, and I bow. I am sorry, that is not my name. Eric, what is going on? You just said Sir Godfrey, didn't you? My name is Sir Godwe Godfrey Warnius Artus Artus. Paluin of Theradon. I did not mean any dishonor to you, Sir Knight. And I bow. Eric, what the fuck? And I I reference to Karama. Girl, I, I like I like literally like push Manlius away, like shh. The and then I go back. back at you, and everybody does see the bow. Okay. So Eric, can we eat it now? I put Karama is sitting at it, just looking at it, like, bewildered, like, what the fuck? Karama, bow! Come on! <laughs> royalty! I don't think it's He royalty. looks at you and then, like, just bows. Very <laughs> unsure of himself. Sir Knight, what, bring, what brings weird. you here? The Knight Squirrel bows as well to Karama. Adventure! Oh! We're an adventuring party. Rivalry. And the quest for adventure. I mean, if that's what you're looking for, that's that's kind of what we're doing. You don't have what to scourge for your own food. Noble? Our quest is to save the world. Skin? It's to end the... No, I have, like, I, I you won't have to get like, gather food and stuff. I can just feed you. But our quest is to save the world. I do not need any other but my own self to feed. 
me. I am a self-sufficient and noble squirrel of Theradon. I, I hold back, like, the urge to just go aw, like, how cute. And I, I can keep myself composed. Yes, yes, Sir Knight. You are a very strong-willed. And it seems you're actually very talented with the sword. I see. Uh, I, I motion to its scabber. We need all the help we can get. Would you humor me by joining oh, our party yeah. and help? I, I, since, since Eric actually did point it out, you will all notice that this squirrel does, in fact, indeed have a, da a, a, a very, very, very small rapier. Is it like a toothpick? <laughs> it's probably a needle. It's about the same size as one, yeah. Let's go. I love this guy. I... I feel like I had too much mead. I'm going, ah, I'm going to be looking into the next area. I'll be right over here. Sir Knight, uh, and, and everybody else is just hearing me go like, sweet, sweet, sweet. Like, uh, would you, would you like to join our party? Would you like to aid us in saving the world? I was looking for a good steed. Would you be fitting the position? Yes, we, we are. I need all the help I can get. Very well. Then on your knees. And I get I get on my knees. Uh, on one knee. On one knee. This is starting to feel like Ratatouille. He approaches and you see him take his dagger and he just like does this almost anointing. Let's go. I'm getting knighted. I declare thee mount. And Can I have a more creative mounted. name than mount, Sir Knight? Kind of, of course not. Me. You are my noble no mount. Okay, I I I, uh, I mo motion to uh, to my put my hand out so he can kind of crawl up my left arm he onto my up shoulder. Your left arm and sits on top of your head. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, everybody. Onward, uh, speed. <laughs> so I look at the rest of the party. Obviously, <laughs> man, this is uh, Lachna is not with us. Uh, guys, guys, this this is Sir. Uh, Godfrey Bubble blah, 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 and he's now our new friend. I am not sure. Blah blah blah. You blah, blah, can't. Blah, blah. I didn't talk in squirrel. I talked in human. And do you not think that I have studied the language of creatins? Wait, is he speaking in like human right now? No. Oh, that'd be funny. He can't speak it, but he but can he, understand he it. He can understand it. Okay. Can you, Sir Knight, can you please say your name once more? I don't want to continue to butcher your name. Well, My name is Sir Godfrey Warnius Artos Palwin of Theradon. If you hold the tab, you can see his name. Yes. Oh, uh, you always forget that. So, guys, Sir Godfrey Warnius Artos Palwin of Theradon. <laughs> Theradon. Uh, he's he's going to join us. I have, I have a night squirrel. <laughs> Let's go. Did you tell him that you have fleas and to keep an eye out for them? No, I don't have fleas. What are you talking about? You see the squirrel, like, look down at him. What is this I hear of, Steed? Have you deceived me? Sir Knight, I don't have fleas. This guy it's likes to say a lot stuff. of jokes throughout our campaign. I will say, at times, it's, it's very lightning. It definitely lightens the mood. But there are just some times where I'm just like, ah, really? So, wait, when you guys... you've, you've employed another animal that I'm not allowed to eat. I look at the squirrel and I'm like, <laughs> I peek out of the, the helmet the, and I'm squinting my eyes see at this it. look of offense on his face? Food! Squirrel? Is this what she has referred to me as? I am offended. These are the compatriots that you carry yourselves with steed? I, I just don't know what to say. I just kind of like start walking towards where Manliness went. Leave it at that. <laughs> I, I, I'm, off my dis I'm off my disguise now. Oh, yeah, yeah, Lachnada. Sorry, I keep saying the wrong thing. But yeah, Lachnada. I start moving with Lachnada. Are you done playing pretend with your squirrel pet thingy? <clears throat> what? Pet? I just want him to stab one of them with his little thing. <laughs> You see, yeah, you see him like swinging at Lachnada right now with the little toothpick, but like you're too far away. Steed, you are being quite useless. 
Third night. Bring me closer. Third night, please, please calm, calm yourself. We are, we, we need him. I understand. He's, he's very vulgar sometimes, but you'll, you'll learn to love him. I shall take your word for it, Steed, but know that I am offended. I offer him acorns in my hand. Are you sure you don't want any? Stop offering this contraband to me. It is not befitting of a knight. I but I will confiscate those from you. <laughs> Again, or I just like... Anything just give no <laughs> that you may not tempt another Sir Noble Knight Squirrel with it. Wait, there are more of you? Of course there are. Theradan is home of the mightiest knights upon this plain. I would love to visit Theraland. I think it would be really cool. Theraland is not our home, Theradan. Theradan, yes. I would love to visit Theradan at some point. I would love to see where you're from and to meet your, your race. If you shall prove yourself noble, then you shall. Once I have achieved glory. Well, you will definitely achieve glory if you hang with us. I can promise you that. Very well. He sheaths his toothpick. I want to give him little scratches under his chin. I reach up to, like, give him scratches. The toothpick comes back out. I don't care. I'm still attempting. He stabs you in the finger. Ah! Come on, I man. Down, Mount. I look down at Karama. Man, did I make a bad decision bringing this guy? Probably. I got... Yeah, you're probably my, right. My internet died on me real quickly. I gotta relaunch. Oh, okay, okay. I sent you a message. So, oh, one sec. um, as you get into this room, disp uh, with the light that Ziggy has provided, but um, this room is illuminating. However, it is otherwise at the very reaches of the light, very very dark. Actually, never mind. The entire room is just yeah. Yeah, the entire room just lit. Lantern. Holy shit! It's not that big of a room. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, GM, would you like to bring me to the map? You're you're here. I made a really good lantern, guys. No, I had to relaunch. My internet died on me. Yeah, but your Thank character's you. still here. You should. Be oh, here. oh, oh, oh! That's what you meant. Yeah, not the character, just me. Uh, I'm gonna walk. That's not right. Like, oh, uh, to this torch. Uh, and I'm gonna use my torch to light it, and then proceed to attempt to do that at all of the uh, all the times I see these little torches on the wall and light them. Okay. That way, in the event like Ziggy needs to pocket the the thing, he doesn't have to worry about it. Granny apple? Granny apple, yeah, yeah, granny apple. Yeah, yeah, I'm just I'm just walking around putting just lighting all the torches, being as careful as possible. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have to roll or anything, but I would be careful of traps. We well I'm 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 just... doing it where like I'm staying to the wall. Like literally like on the wall, just lighting the torches. Yeah, see how the torches are getting lit? Like that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Like that one, like that one, light them all. I don't know if that's going to trigger anything, but I'm lighting the torches. What exactly do we see in this room? Give me just one second. He's lighting the torches so we can see. I ain't see jack shit. Um, as you enter the room and stuff like that, you see a pit within the center of the room. And you see two gates ahead of you. And at the north, east, and west, you see three statues thus far. Thus far. Three, three statues, you said? There are three statues. For real, for real? You guys see... Um, also, you see... Uh, sorry, because I, f I keep forgetting that there's, yeah, 60-foot fucking light. Mm -hmm. Um... 
I thought it was, oh yeah. You see sarcophagi. But it's only in a cone, right? Is it only in a cone? Uh, is it a cone? No. It's a cone, I thought. Hold on. It is. Oh, it is a cone. It is a cone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, never mind. So, well, yes, yeah, sort of. I'm... So, whatever direction she's facing is illuminated. Got it. So, you can actually save that. Uh... How wide is it, though? Uh, it is... 60 feet. Pretty big. Sixty so. feet long, but like how it's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a thirty degree cone. It doesn't say oh. it, but that's I think the default. Okay. Okay. So we're seeing right in front of us, basically. So and then, save like to the left and right because I illuminated this. Yeah. Save the. Uh, no, no, no. Save it to. Hold on. Can I take over this? Why don't you just do it? Because I accidentally right clicked. You might be able to save it. I can't. So we do oh, see this statue, point. then. In front I of mean, us. it's we're only going to be using the 60 feet if you wanted to keep it. But I guess it is wider at the tip, isn't it? For the 120. I'm going to set it to what it is. Yeah, yeah, just set it like that. It's fine. Oops. Because I'm literally going to, like, put... I'm going to light up all the torches eventually. I just got to get to those spots. be able to yeah okay okay so we see a statue in front of us uh, we see a statue right what? here that is the light that you are currently seeing in her current direction okay <clears throat> so forget everything else that I said because she hasn't turned her head yet yep. or turned the lantern yet I this the ball I, I... Yeah, one. Do I just sweep over the room? Full, full 360. Full 360. Okay. I'm not going to oh, move the marker in this particular case, but sure. like I said, everything that I had seen, you do, you do see the, uh, you see more torches on the wall throughout the entire uh, room and whatnot. You see the three torches. You see sar. Uh, sorry, the three statues. You see the uh, three sarcophagi. Um, you see in the just close to the gates you see the left roll me a uh, actually roll me a perception check um do a group roll oh. okay so basically we just take the higher oh everyone okay um three oh not 20 baby okay well okay i'm just gonna take I got then. Four. man my rolls yeah. are so good today I so got eric 18. Eric, as as he's follow or like as like guides you with the light and stuff like that, and starts beginning to point things out, um, and lighting the torches two, as I go. You see two levers by the uh, grates. However, you also see from here. You're not sure exactly for, from this distance. You're not exactly a hundred percent sure. Well, no, you're still standing in the same spot, like pointing things out, like mm -hmm. from the ledge. Um, okay. you're not, so like, you've just lit these two torches for now. Gotcha, um, gotcha. you see corpses on the ground and whatnot, and you see one still appearing to be clutching the lever. Oh, okay. So we see two levers and we see a corpse clutching one of them. Correct. Okay. Cool. Don't tell us um, we, we're not going to like what happens next. I think that's Kronk down there. Wrong lever. <laughs> yep. Wrong lever. Wrong lever. Wrong lever. <laughs> um, beyond that, like I said, um, let's see, is there anything else that I really need to like point out to you? I think I mentioned everything that um, you would be able to see from that angle. Um, I will use your perception check in terms of anything else that you okay. will need to see. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go on the bodies uh i message you specifically burnt but yeah body to body um oh i want to loot a body rituals. i'm not looting them oh oh ritual yes yes uh um, doing a three dot ritual next to each body oh wait 
I totally forgot I could do that. I'm gonna go to the bar. Are you gonna go where? Your to my Discord cannot. I know exactly Discord? what you're saying. So you're you're all just gonna walk over then to the bodies? Well, I'm gonna keep I... lighting the torches. I haven't moved. I am uh. standing. Exactly where I am. Eric, which torch are you going towards next? Uh, so the next torch I saw was the one okay. all the way down here, which is kind of like where they're all going. Um, hold on, let me do a little thingy. Okay. And yeah. literally show you. It's it's this this torch. I'm going there. Yeah. You guys are heading next? Yes, yeah, so that's where I'm hand heading. Hand okay. And um, use my blood to perform the ritual of Argus. Wait, why can't I move myself? Um, because you're not helping yourself. Oh. Uh, I'm going to this body wait, right here. Wait, why aren't you selected on yourself? I don't know. Wait. I can't. I can't move myself. I'm trying. Jam tools. Did something break on this? Maybe. I was I able to originally. Now I can't. You should be able to now. Yep. Now I can. Okay. Dude. It's because he's got fleas on him. See, I don't have fleas. You might depend on uh. <laughs> If Ziggy agrees. Da, 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 da. Why does Ziggy <laughs> want me to have fleas? Okay. You have no issues getting to that torch. Yay. Ooh, there's a lever here. I would be wary of that lever. We I'm not gonna do it. I'm just lighting the I'm just lighting the, the torches. Anything, giving us light. I would suggest we use a rope to pull the levers from a safe distance. Um lighting the torches that I see. Good sir. All right. And I'm going to continue my ritual of the blood sacrifice. Can I can I look up at uh, Sir Godfrey uh, and be like, Hey, Sir Godfrey, do you want to yes, no. go light the other torch all the way over there? And I give him like a, a small like lit like pick of the torch to like scurry on the wall. It is your duty. It. it is your duty mount to be the mount. It is not a knight's duty to dismount. And this third Godfrey's kind of used. I like think in my head. <laughs> then I'm still oh, yeah. here. I'm going to let everybody else do it. You see a look from Karama like. A demon. But he's very careful not to like shake his hand or anything. Or shake his head or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to piss him off. <laughs> he's got a toothpick. Hey, Granny, light my way as I go towards that body down there. Of course. And I look at the body. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. Oh, sorry. I look where you're going. My bad. That's what I meant. Like, I'm trying to get you. Yeah, she's trying to move the move angle the of the light. I sent you a message, Burke. Yeah, outside of the cone of light, you bear, you can see nothing. Out anywhere where no, there's not... No, I'm... I'm... Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm saying, but, like, when, if it... Until she recognized it, right? Like, wherever the, the cone... Outside of her cone of light, and outside of the cones of light that Eric and whatnot have created, you can see absolutely nothing. It is pitch black, because you don't have dark vision. Yeah, I'm trying to be helpful by lighting these torches. Yeah. All right, so she lights... She follows me with her light, and I get down to the body. Okay. Um, I have I'm just going to delete this. I'm just going to count it as you... Uh, shining light on him. Yeah. Yep. Um, human. I think you know what I'm gonna do, Berg. Yes, I do. Loot that body. But you got no. too much on the bones. You see, magic comes from the Aether. I see all and this pours... happening, right? Because I'm right here. Yes and pours into the skeleton and you see an unearthly light shine in its once dull sunken eyes green light fills them with life it stares at you looking expectingly Ooh, i want to ask you a question what's the last thing you remember Found temple 
I run over. What's two plus two? Promises of loot, treasure, only found death. Betrayed by Captain looks over at Eric for <laughs> who are you with? who were you with what was your who is your allegiance what country? Iconica. I chime in. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Eric. <laughs> Not now. Listen, I don't think that the spirit's going to talk to him, right? Because he didn't I with that. I do not know what ice cream is you know if any of you guys have a good question now's the time to chime in nothing dumb as he looks at Eric <laughs> I do not look kindly on necromancy of any sort. I will have it's no part in this. Not necromancy. Yeah, it's not necromancy. <laughs> you returned the soul to the body. No, we didn't. That is foul enough as it is. It is necromancy, uh, actually. Oh, oh, it is. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Wait, isn't There's... it just one more? Or am I thinking of the wrong spell? You're, you're forcing the soul to come back from the other side of the veil. Oh, to, to speak. Answer your okay. questions. Yeah, but isn't it just five questions and then it dies? I don't know. I thought that's the joke. That's why I'm trying to waste questions. <laughs> no. But I don't have no part in this. <laughs> the green eyes are still staring at you, Wachnada. I have a good question to ask. Where? Is it a dumb question? No, it's actually a good question. All right, then ask it. Okay. What were you all doing down here? He just... Looting. Taking what we thought was a prize. The energy returns to the eater. I was right. <laughs> I knew exactly what that spell was. Uh. Damn, I had a good question. I typed a train, but like too late. You're a liar. You were never gonna ask anything. No, but not not Marcus wasn't no. That's exactly what I was going to ask too. <laughs> Fortunately, there are other dead bodies. There are other dead bodies. There are. Ask. That's the only good thing. I I just like giggle and walk away. <laughs> Let him do his thing. <laughs> Ziggy. Next body. Let's Granny keep Apple? shining. Um, yeah, Granny. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I. And so. I, I. I hate having seen necromancy, but I still go to the next body anyways. I get to the next body. <sighs> oh God. You cast the spell again, and like before, the energy pours from your hourglass into their into them and the green light their life essence returns it stares at you expectingly what happened when you pulled the lovers wasn't alive don't know Trying to solve riddle. Captain betrayed us. What? What was? What's the riddle? Mm. 
each statue has its own. The three combined form one. Did not figure it out before he killed us. How many were with you? Five. Is the captain in this room? And if so, which of the bodies is the captain? You see his head, like, crack as he looks around. No eyes. Can't see. Wearing. Loins. Goliath. Unsure. If he's still here. For the record, did I found him, guys. Did you see anyone turn to stone? No. I, I think that was the five questions. No, it was only four. No, that was four. That was There's four. one more. I can ask a question. If you... Is it an actual question? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask if it's a virgin. Don't let him. <laughs> Damn it. Um, Is that what you're gonna ask? No, no, no. <laughs> um, uh, hold on. Now I forgot what I was gonna ask. Oh, uh, what originally brought you guys down here? Receive to contract from village of heart. Village of heart. Who desecrate old to make way for the new? New order, new gods. No, well, that was the fifth question. I know, so I'm, that's, I'm his wondering. Head falls, yeah, yeah. His head falls limp as the energy returns back to the Aether. Okay, so cool things we just learned. This guy that we just talked to is not in any way related to this other guy. This other guy that we talked to first came later. This guy no. was part of the group that was rebuilding the thing above, above this Ziggy, thing. You heard... There's uh, riddles, I hear. Something different from the way that he spoke. They heard it in the language that, that they understood, but you, un when you heard the village of Heart, you heard the village of Lasharva. Oh. Well, that changes yeah. that. that I was thinking that. it might have been something with Heart, something else. Lasharva. I look at Ziggy and I... I from her robotic mech form that she seems uh, shocked by the by something that this thing said. Were you, were you here when I said Lasharva out loud just now? Or that too, yeah. Then I hear the word Lasharva. Lasharva. I say, you can't see. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I'm a robot. You okay, don't so that's see better. 
Lasharva, you wait. Hear the word Lasharva. Lasharva. Yeah, that's Le that's Apple. what he said. The, the town of Lasharva. That's what he said. He said the village of heart. Mm, you heard you something. Guys must missed, you misheard him. He said Lasharva for sure. I'm positive of it. You heard something different. Interesting. Wait. The village. Take, take. Think back in the rest of the conversation and the conversation I had with this one and the other body. What did you hear that? What did you hear from the other body? Was it the same? Was everything else the same? She's asking you, Burke. Everything else was indeed the same. This one was specific because you heard the, the word the heart was said in ancient Elvish. Ah. Oh, Wait, but I'm a half elf. Shouldn't I be able to hear that? Nope. Ancient uh, Elvish is uh, special. Anyways. How dare you um, try to take away her uniqueness? Wait. Hmm? What did you just say, Ziggy? I mean, Granny Apple? Sorry, I keep... I'm doing the same I thing. Can't... You're fine. Well, we're all messed up because Eric is Eric. Yeah, it's my fault. Yeah, 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 it's okay. What did you just say, Granny Apple? What? That though that he said it, it um in ancient Elvish. So um when I learned to read, backstory I learned to read from some ancient ruins. Um they had this language. Yes, but isn't Lajarva human dominated? Um, yeah, it is. Apparently, the Sharva used to be Elvin, an Elven nation. That kind of adds up from where it is. So currently, the humans could have conquered it. And then it Something became a fully human town. Something doesn't seem right with this. With, with this. Hold, hold on, Granny, with me. Okay. You I had the power to cast it a third time? Yeah. You yeah, can you cast, cast it at will. Right? You can cast it at will. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's right. It's at will. Okay. The energy pours into this fallen soldier. Must you constantly defile these bodies? It looks at you expectingly. What happened when you pulled the levers? Not sure. Was going to do so. And then was stabbed in the back. <clears throat> the captain. There was greed in his eyes as if only a magic had taken him over i'm immediately oh no i wouldn't know that never mind I'm sorry meta knowledge i mean there's obviously a treasure here kind but magic took him over. Right, but it, it embodied him with greed. Yes. Greed. Right, well, what do you always... What does greed entail? Sorry, is... sorry. Sorry, that's meta-knowledge. I, sh I shouldn't be doing that. Sorry. I don't... My character wouldn't know this. But to get to... I was talking out loud. And in, in, out of character. Um. Anyways, as for... <clears throat> What do you know about Lasharva? Capital city of the Eastern Kingdom of Elves.
But, uh, Empire. You know how to solve this riddle. We were not sure. Thought perhaps we had solution and were going to pull lever. have an idea yeah uh, well ask your ask your last uh two questions i think and then he'll go away and then uh the cool thing is marcus you're already in position i think we need to pull the lever at the same time Marcus is at that one. I'm at this one. We can axe this guy first, this corpse right here. Um, but if I would ask. If going to pull the lever, I would recommend doing it with a rope to be safe. Okay, when we both have ropes, right? You have a rope? Yep. Yeah, I have a rope. So we can both tie the ropes. We can walk up the stairs and we can pull them from there. I'm cool with that. Before we do that, why don't we read the riddle on the statues, though? Oh, I didn't I realize it was a really riddle like on the statue. I'd love to read the words. Yeah, I'd love to read yeah, the words. Like, okay. There's a riddle. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I walk up to the the corpse, uh, and I ask I'm him, "Hey, what's two my, plus two? I'm gonna... mm. <laughs> no, I asked it. <laughs> what do you ask? I asked, "What's two plus two? <laughs> Would you stop making a mockery of the dead? I've done oh. my best to honor them and their sacrifice. Hey, these one, these one corpses question. are really smart. One question. I got one more question. One serious question. Yep, you have one more question. It looks at you Ooh. expectingly. Who's your daddy Ooh. coming up? <laughs> Who did Lasharva worship? The three. The life binder. Zithrum. The blessed mother. Nalexis. And the war. <laughs> and he dies. I hate you. Damn it. Never get to know the third. So. The Ziggy. Gonna go, gonna Granny go Apple, can you look Granny at Apple. these inscriptions and see if you can make them out? If you can't, mm -hmm. I can easily have to make sure that we are the only ones to see them ever again. I walk over and I read. Which one are you walking reading riddles. first? The one in front uh, of you? Well, which... So... Yeah, just the one in front of me, that's fine. This particular one... Um... Actually, by the way, I made a mistake, by the way, when I said with the perception check, there are actually four statues. Oh, okay, cool. 
Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think you messed up with the uh, with my thing too, because I I can only use it once per short rest. Is that what I said? Oh. I'll change That's that what actually it says. because you're I'm 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 gonna change that then and give you the ability to cast at will. Yeah, because I mean you should be able to cast that kind of thing at will. Yeah. yeah. Like, cause you're not gonna get everything from one corpse. Right. You might. Nah. Cause it was like as we learned, like the cor first corpse was completely irrelevant to the second corpse. They were from different times. Well, to be fair, no. No, nope, they're the same. Why? They're the Why same do group. You think that. I'm so all four of these are. Confused, like, by my guess, all four. Th yeah, cause he said he got betrayed by a cap. First one said they were betrayed all by the captain. Oh, They're I thought that was the second one that said that. By the captain. All of them. No. Every single one yeah, of them. Said all that. of them have been betrayed uh, by their captain. They're all yeah. the same people. So yeah, all four of these, I'm guessing, are this are pro are probably the same group that came down here. There's a group of five, with the captain not being present. Right, right. Okay. Well, he's. I I know how his outfit is. So if we end up coming across that corpse. Well, I, I actually, as a matter of fact, you see it in front of you, Eric. Yeah, that's what I figured, because of how he described it. I'm like, this is definitely the captain. Wait. But yeah. then we're... Oh, no, the first guy must be at the beginning. Well, they all got stabbed, so they wouldn't even be alive to see the captain doing what he's doing over here. So that's why. And the other guy didn't have eyes to see him. They have empty well, sockets. No. Well, none of them have eyes. Well, true, true. But well, it, actually, that's not true. The captain still does. Oh. Good to know. But yeah, this is the captain over here, because he was he met the description that the one guy said. So he just anyway. the captain the captain just made out of stone, right? You see before you a stone figure. So he was obviously turned to stone. Which is why I think Marcus wants us to tie ropes to it and do it that way instead of actually wants to handle it. Anyway, go to any apple. It's the stone. It's the hand. It's it's the stone hands stuck to the lever. Uh, looks yes. like it. Please, can I read the plaque? You yes. can. Yes. Go to apple. Upon please. this plaque, you see the, a statue. And there is an engraving that first says the recorder. And beneath it, it simply reads, I am the sum of the cycle from beginning to end. What's the next one say? Yeah, next one. Raving. But something is strange. I'm actually just going to move your character to it. Something is strange about this particular engraving. It seems to be fluid, almost waiting. Mm -hmm. You can't decipher any text on it at the moment, but you get a sense of anticipation from it. What did you say the name of this statue was? I didn't. Oh, okay. I can't read this one. It's almost like it's... waiting for another one? Mm, it seems to be waiting for you. For me? Can I touch it? 
I'm gonna touch. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna touch it. The words spring into actual words. No, says spring. What do they say? A riddle. No tool will touch me. No tinkering can improve me. I am a source of your inventions, the spark of your infusions, the father of your creations. I don't know how far you read that too fast and right I, down. my end starts your legacy. Okay, one more time. No tool will touch me. No tinkering can improve me. I am the source of your inventions, the spark of your infusions, and the father of your creations. I, or my end, starts your legacy. Okay. Oops. As you I'm remove sure. your hand from it, text goes back to that state of anticipation. Someone Can else I... touch it. Well, I was going to actually go back to the first statue and touch that one. Oh. Um, okay. Okay. Which is right here, right? That one was the one that um, the was basically saying that I am the sum of the cycle. Yep. Oh, oh up here, okay. Yeah, I touched that one. With my Just bloody me. hand. I am the thing that all things devour. Birds, beasts, trees, flowers. Gnaws iron bites steel, grinds hard stones to meal. Slays king, ruins town, and beats high mountain down. Oh, uh, so I think you missed her swimming I wanted to go to the first statue that Granny Apple looked at and oh, touch one. that one. About the cycle. Okay. That's why I was over there. Because that's the one that said something about the cycle, right? Correct. Right here? Yes. And I want to touch that statue with my bloody hand. Nothing happens. Okay. I noticed that they're all doing the statue thing, so I light this torch next to the captain that Lachna does at. And I make my way over to this statue. And I shout, Guys, did you touch this one yet? Hold on a sec. Let me solve one thing at a time. Oh, okay. okay you like that one? And then yep. which one did you go to? Uh, the one that my character's at. Okay. And um, I, just, I just shout that if people have already touched this one or not. I should be able to hear me out of it. We can't hear you from that far away. Sorry. You guys can can so Speak hear me. Speak with your big boy voice. I I can't, I can't hear you. I'm blind. Wait, you're blind right now? I just proceed to touch the statue, assuming that nobody else has touched this one. Well, does anyone an did anyone answer him? Yeah, so I was, I was literally talking to the Nobody party. Nobody has touched that one yet. Thank you. <laughs> um, the point is that this plaque changes depending on who touches it. 
I believe. I it, think that I think it's based on whichever the god is. Statue, for yes. instance. Yours imply the one you stand in front of, Granny Apple, implies something to do with creation. This one mentions something to do with the cycle. The um, would I have gotten the knowledge from the one upstairs since I didn't actually t uh, officially touch no, that one? No, you did not. So you would not have actually gotten that riddle. And Eric hasn't touched the one in front of him yet. Right. So all you know right now is the one from Ziggy. The cycle makes me think of the gods and my sacred duty to protect it as a cleric. I believe that these statues may refer to different professions. Oh. I touched the statue. It laughs at you. You see, well, actually, you can't read it. Yeah, I can't read it. I'm just touching the thing. Nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, just like really proud of myself that I touched it because like I'm doing what everybody else is doing. I touched the butt. I touched the butt. <laughs> I'm not even going to try because I can't read Elvish. At well, all. I, I can read Elvish, just not ancient Elvish. Does anybody want to touch the, the statue all the way? I mean, I want to go around and read every statue. Okay. Okay. So I'll give you... So as you go to the second one, Granny Apple, I'll give this riddle again. Okay. I am the thing that devours all. Birds, beasts, trees, and flowers gnaws iron bites steel grinds hard stones to meal slays king ruins town and beats high mountain down can you send that where i can read it I believe. Are you relaying what is said to everybody, or just? Yes, I'm. This? I'm absolutely reading this out loud. By the okay. way. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I was gonna time. say answer. Just time. so everyone knows, I'm absolutely reading this out loud. Okay. So that one has to be time. That's the only thing that, that makes sense. Uh, it sounds Lizard more like boy, the. It sounds. Get up there and touch like that Zithra. statue. It sounds more like the devourer to me. I, I want to hear what this other statue has to say, but I, nobody it, can escape time. You guys are probably right. It's a very delicious seasoning. So, so one's a cycle, one's time. This one was creation, I'm assuming. What was the other one? Mm -hmm. Something right. to do with creation. Sounds like an artificer. Are these just aren't the odds? So let's like, see this sounds like the devourer. This sounds like Nalexis. But there were three, and there's four statues. Yeah, but one of the the one you just read is a cycle. The three that control the cycle. We shall see what your statue says. Yeah, because I can't. Granny Apple, if you don't mind, please. We yes. need your expertise. I read it. Um, Which one are you reading? The, the final one? one? In front of X. Yeah, the one yeah. I'm at. Okay. No, the first one again. To throw you out. I no wait okay which one are you reading the one that I'm the on the one I haven't read yet okay I am always near but never far like an old friend I will always know you find you and be waiting with a warm embrace please though I am all often avoided but i always catch up i will come when you're old and gray or maybe even the very next day i will come with and give you rest 
with a chill kiss upon your face. So death. Yep. At death. Yeah, it's birth. Birth was the first one. Then we have the cycle. Birth. We have death. And then what was the third one again? Time. Right. Life. Time. Death. The cycle. Life invention. Time. Death. I were. I'm not quite sure about. Well, Granny Apple statue. Well, it makes sense. So it's the cycle, right? Cycle of life, right? Life always starts with with creation. It starts with with birth, right? Then the time you spend throughout your life, that's the time part. And then you eventually die. That's death, right? I mean, that's that's what I'm piecing. Can before. I see if there's any differences between the statues? Yes, you may. So, I, so what my perception I rolled was a 19. Do I need to roll again? Nope. I'm actually going by the nat 20. Okay. Oh, for me. Let's go. And I'm also going to have Granny Apple follow you as you do this. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm there. So I want to start to cycle. Okay. So what because that's on the set of the beginning. I want to see, um, I want to, so I want to observe this and then compare it to the second one. Do you do anything with it or do you just look at it? I'm just looking at it to see if I can find any different. Oh, I'd see if uh, I can pry it open or anything else like that. You do see a latch. I would like to try to open it. Um, what do I find inside? Oh, I get it. Oh, that's cool. It's, it's a timed, like... Do you not remember these statues with the gelatinous cube train? No. So, basic, so... I remember. <laughs> Wait, is this, the one you're at right now, Marcus, is that the cycle one or is that the, li is that that's the life cycle. one? Okay. Well, they're both the same. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, I think it's just, like, the one you're at first, then the middle one, then the one all the way to where the one well, I'm at, the, and then the, the one on the bottom, right? When you, see, when you see the shield open, inscribed on the, on, on the uh, bracing of it, you can read Zithrum. All right. Shall we move on to the next one? Wait. Yeah, Eric, open the one that you're at. We should do it in order. We should do it in order. It is the sum of the cycle from beginning to end. Yeah, if death like is the end, and this is the, the cycle is the beginning, we should move in order. Yeah, I agree. What? Okay. Wait, hold on. Before you guys do anything, why do you think otherwise? Well, because the text changed to Zithrum. No, there's uh, something no. That's, uh, after we open it. There's the, the the shield. The text a sh a on the shield. inner part of the shield, yeah. on the bracing itself. Oh. Yeah, it's just telling us which each, like god represents like Zithrum is the cycle and then when we move on i'm sure it'll go another god i could proceed guys i'm i'm with you shall we, shall we open it do you want the honors granny apple oh it's mm -hmm. already been opened yeah. okay is that one of the flame the other ones didn't interesting <clears throat> What does this one say, Granny Apple? You guys are both going to the, uh... The flaming next... one. We're both already over here. That's just this one. That, that was the one you opened? That was the one you opened. No. I opened the one... That's not the cycle. That one was the artificer one. See, that's what I thought. The one okay. down here was the cycle. Yeah, he, he wanted to first. do this one first. The one in the bottom part. This is part. literally the one I clicked open okay. on. This is the one that opened. That's what I thought. Okay. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Yeah. Sorry. So, the 
That one up there is Zithrim, okay. Yeah, the one up top is Zithrim. Uh, I do have a quick question, Berg. 30 seconds. Yes. When it opens up, does it immediately light up? Or is there a mechanism to turn that light on and off? Or is it I... like when the shield's revealed, boom, the light turns on? I don't know. Oh, okay. That's... Never mind. Does the light turn on? It, it did on the top one. No, 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 no. But there wasn't a light on this one, so... Right, right. That's why... I... That's why I exit, because I think there's a specific order. So, what do we read in the first statue? I am the sum of the cycle. Yeah, but like, when we opened it, was there nothing that inside? You see nothing inside. I know. I think I know. Mm. No, I, I think you're, you, you, you know, right? It's it's Shall the we... one that they were at originally. Then it's this one. Uh, that's for the, that's where the entrance is that we came in. Then it's the one I'm at, and then nope. it's this one because this one's the sum of all of them. Sum is, so, is the end of an so, equation. So what if it's the three statues? They give us some answer, and we figure out that answer here and speak it over here. Could that be it too. Open. I so think the, we... I think the names inside the statue are also a clue to the riddle. Yeah, but that's the, just me. No, no, that you're you're yes. right. They're the gods. So shall we look inside that's this not... statue? I Turn think you should. Clink. The name. that you would expect to see there has been acid washed. They really don't want us to get the name of this person, Someone do Someone really they? hates this third god, and I don't know who, or is protecting them, or is erasing them forever. You I'm deeply beneath unsure. It. Oh. A word that you're you've never seen before, but you may attempt to translate. Free? Yeah, I want to read it. <laughs> please, what do I roll? Please roll a history check. Can I? Oh wait, never mind. My history. Yeah. Can I uh, assist? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. I got plus six on history. It, be, you will not have. Uh, you would not be able to assist with this. 15 I, plus 4, you 19. You may be you're proficient, but you don't lack the... the you, you lack the knowledge to be able to... Uh, yeah. To assist. Well, I'm sorry, what was your... Total? 19. After a bit of time, you <laughs> translate it to traitor. Traitor? He betrayed the other god. Why do I get the feeling that the one that's being erased is Argrius? Oh. <clears throat> anyway. Shall we continue? I get the feeling if the pattern holds, the next one will be Nilixis. Nil okay. Hmm. Oh god, it's ugly. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean you start on there. Let me see it. Watch your face. You see the name Nelixis. So oh, mean. Nelixis. I can't resist. So the sum of the three would be shattered. So we have two options. We could go over there and speak the word shattered, or we could actually shatter the statue. Well, what would come first, pulling the levers or shattering the statue? 
Um, well, I have a feeling that they didn't solve the riddle before pulling the lever, and that's why they returned the statue. Okay. And we have that's no idea thought. what caused the petrification, so we would have no way to dodge it if we were wrong. I'd like to climb down this hole here and just, like, see if I see anything in it of importance. I tried. I kept getting kicked out. I'm in the hole. Um, are you just jumping down into the hole? Or are you, like, trying to climb on the wall? Uh, you... So I'm going to be smart because I have a rope, and I'm going to tie it on this thing here and then use the rope to lower myself because I don't know how deep this is. Okay. Uh, you tie your rope to it, and you begin to lower yourself into the pit, and you continue to climb down and down and down. How how far? How long is your rope? Uh, fifty feet. You've reached the end of your rope, and you still see blackness beneath you. Okay, it is bottomless. Um, can I like shine my? Do you my... see anything? I'm gonna shine my torch slightly downwards. Because I have dark vision and I can see up to sixty additional, so like that's like, hundred and eleven, hundred ten. Pitch black. Ah, uh, it's it's a bottomless pit, guys. I, I dropped my torch down there, just to see like how far it goes. For about what did you say your dark vision range was? Sixty. After about sixty feet of it dropping, it suddenly vanishes. I'm terrified. I start climbing up the rope to get out of this bottomless pit. Okay. I'm tempted to go down there myself and see what's down there now, damn it. Well, I dropped a torch down there, uh, and I have pretty good vision in the dark, and after yeah, we, uh, a good amount of time, the light went away, and it just kept going. And I never heard a clunk. I'm going to say uh, that's pretty bottomless. Berg, I'm sent your message. Uh, Ziggy, uh, Granny Apple, I gotta stop doing that. Granny Apple, do you, uh, do you think you have the strength to, like, destroy this statue by me? We should first touch it and speak the word shattered to see if that's... Hey, uh, hey, Loch Nida, you wanna, you wanna do that? You wanna touch it? Why don't we all touch it? <laughs> we I'm all scared. share the same fate. <laughs> I right. touch it. If you guys all do it, I touch at the same time as them. You're touching the statue? Yeah. Saying the word, uh, the shattered. shattered. And we say shattered. Shattered, shattered. The doobie. <laughs> the statue's close. Now... It might be safe. I don't know. Pull the lever. I go. Um. Uh, hmm. You want to do the rope idea, Marcus? I have a different idea. That's you. What's that? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to cast. Um, the. What's up? I, 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 I asked you guys if you went and touched this other statue. The one that you huh? guys never touched. All of them have been touched. Yeah, we There's touched all statues. the statues. Mm. I mean, that's you're talking about the stone body of the captain. Mm, I thought we retconned that other one. Yeah, no, um, that uh, Ziggy went and touched that one. That's yeah, she went back up to it. No, she didn't. I thought she did. Nope. Yeah, I thought she no. did. No. We literally I got the name Trader from it. Statues, he literally said it was acid Every water. statue I go look at. You did look at them, yes. So but you yeah. never never Touched opened them. it. Uh, yeah, we did because we were told that the ad It was retconned because you you said that you were opening this one, not that one. But Bird, you literally told us that it was acid washed. And no, no, was okay, okay. Literature. Everybody stop. Berg, nice. Ziggy proceeds, uh, Granny Apple proceeds to touch every single one. She and had lets already the shields done go. that. I, not... I know. Now, now I'm just saying, now she, before, we've already touched the thing, so we're going to have to reset everything. So now, reset, Ziggy touches everything. 
Granny Apple well, touches everything. I learned to walk yeah. around each statue. It, it, he didn't count it, you so did. we're just going to redo it. But you s said that you started with this one, yes? Uh, the one down by the portacolis, yeah. Okay. And then we ended so up going opening, to the fluid one. So you're opening this one first, right? Yeah. yeah, so if we if we do that, that redcons it. It's there's an order. Correct. This is the last one. I've already told you guys that. So the first yeah. one is the one that initially you and Granny Apple went to, but that one was never re-triggered, is what Bury's saying. So just re-trigger all three in that same order, and then we'll go back and do the shattered thing. So are you, you're opening this one first, right? The one you're all um, standing in front of. No. No. Because that's the last. Because no. that's the last okay. one. <laughs> okay. Which one are you starting with? The that one, one they're all at. Yeah, which um, all, right. all of a sudden I, I just lost two of us. We're in the no, we don't have to keep going with you. you get, we'll stay. Well, no, like, because of my view and my angle, like, I was just gone. I couldn't see Ziggy or myself. Oh. Uh, Wait, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Did I accidentally could be wrong. That? I could be wrong with the order, but this is what I'm thinking the order is. Did I accidentally delete that? Good job. Have. Why is that? Why did that go away? What the fuck? I like the fire. Wait, you see the fire? Yeah, I see yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. We see what? it. I thought that that was just an indicator that we got the right one first. That's what I thought, oh, too. Okay, for some reason I didn't. Okay, there we go. Okay. So you Shall go to we... the next one. Yep, let's see if we um, see the fire. Do we think it's this one or the next one? I think it's the, that one, personally. Because that was the that was time, right? So yeah, it was, that was, it time. was birth, then time, then it. death, and then some. I do it. That's probably right. I think it's right. Well, we'll find out. It's not we like have oh, it lit up. Stand it. Oh, did it? Because it didn't yeah. light for me. No, nah, it lit up yeah, for it's me. Lit up. It's lit up. All right, go to the next one, guys. Go, 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 go. go. I love how I didn't get the flame. I'm just gonna. I'm just watching. The <laughs> oh, there we go. I have to zoom farther out for the flame to show up. That's dumb. I'm just okay. standing next to you because I have no way to see. Besides the. Torch. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> you just see lights yeah. randomly. No, you don't have a torch. You lost your torch. Yeah, I have dark vision though. I so have the lantern still. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it, it doesn't it point in the direction you're looking. Yeah. So, we'll so it'll illuminate the statue, me, right? Yeah. yeah. So we open this statue up here, the one yeah, that said Nelixis. Um, Let's see if it's right. Oh. <gasps> oh, it's not lighting up. Oh no, it lit up. Okay, we got it. We're good. We're good. Okay, okay. Now we go to the last one. Um, I don't think saying shattered matters, but I'm still gonna do it because that was what the plan. Oh, I mean, it might just be the fact that we have to open it. I think we just open it. We'll be fine. I'm saying shattered, like like I was told originally. Shattered. Shattered. Shushu shushu shushu. Yay! We did it. Bird, do you see the message I sent you about the pit? Oh, I see. All right, now, uh, Marcus, are we doing the rope thing, or did you said you had a different idea? Well. Wisdom comes to those who are willing to sacrifice, right? That's... I'm not... Uh, oh, oh, okay, so I guess flush to it? No. I'm actually going to use um, two of uh, my second level spells to create... Wait, why is that not equipped anymore? What the hell? Okay. I wouldn't have unequipped that. The spiritual weapon? Because that's so good. Oh, I've only got four of my spells equipped. What the hell? Hold on. This should be like that. Oh, definitely taking that. Um. All right. So I do got a question for you guys. Shoot. Wait, did you say you're blinded? Or someone's blinded because they just have dark vision? Well, Lachnada doesn't Lachnada have... Lachnada does not he have He can't dark see vision. nothing. Oh, okay, well... 
But I was yeah, lighting the torches, him. so I mean, he can see somewhat. Yeah, no, I'll yeah. just ask him. He can, can see, see wherever him. there is light. Yeah. That's it. Which I'm going to just assume that, yeah. I'm not going to bother lighting the rest of the torches right, right. now. Well, I was just thinking say, about I was thinking about using a couple of spiritual weapons to pull the levers for us, just in case. Well, we can just use the did... rope. I think that's fine. Well, how are, how are we going to do that with the stone statue in the way? I mean, we're strong enough. It's just a statue. What do you mean? He he doesn't think we're going to be able to pull this lever because the captain's got his hands on it, but I think that's fine. We're going to be able to. I was just saying. I mean, you, you tie a rope to it. You give enough force. That, that lever's going, going down. Well. So are we doing the rope idea? I guess we could, yeah. Okay, I'll I'm going to untie the rope that I tied here. Bring it over here. Tie it there. And then make my way up to this statue with the rope because it's 50 feet. It's and way more than enough. That word about it, we could tie something to the... No, I'm not desecrating the body. Never yeah, mind. I think um, Locked It on Granny Apple should move to either where I am or where Marcus is going to be just in case something happens with the floor when we pull the lot lever. It's 50 feet, so you, you have a 50-foot rope too, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you can go up on this, like, where the statue is, so, like, oh, above the stairs. Okay, I'm just taking every precaution possible. Because this is more than enough. Like, 50 feet of rope is more than enough for where I'm at. It's up to you two if you want to move or not. Sure. Wherever you go, Ziggy, I go because I'm blind. <laughs> but you can't move. Odin has to move you. Yeah. So, yeah. Odin, if you want to move them both. Well, well I, you, know, you can move yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's up. Right. Okay. And then on the count of three, we yank. But I think it has to be done simultaneously. Maybe. Well, I mean, we'll we'll see. Three, two, so one. You're pulling pull! both levers down at the same time. Uh, well, it looks like Did this one's up and levers? this one's down. So. So Odiden pulls this one down. Uh huh. And turns to stone. Uh oh. Sweet. But you now have the condition petrified. What happens to me? The lever resets. Nothing happens to you. Oh, cool. Well. Oh, what? Um. Hmm. Locked enough. Can your spell work on a stone version of a dead body? Uh, I can try. Ziggy, point the light. Yeah, point the light. Granny, Granny Apple, point the light. So we I'm turned going to Marcus to stone. He's Neville Longbottom. Sure. But you thought the lever reset, right? When he pulled it? Yeah. Yes, so Dyden's lever reset. And then this one's just down because the statue. After you ask your questions, Lachanda, if it works, I have an idea for that other guy. Too. Well, Are you attempting to cast a spell? Yeah, I'm going to see if it works on stone creature, stone fied people. The magic attempts to reach out, but fails. Um, well, Locked he's still alive. I, he's still alive? Could I use the other effect to see if I can't see what happened before? You can. Like, to make an investment. That's an investigation check. Please I know roll that. an investigation check. Added with Arcana. And Arcana too? Holy yes. crap. 
<laughs> it's gonna be so Jesus, that's a plus 12. Well, it's a combined effect. I take... The results of both determine the final effect. They're not added. Oh, different, different. Okay. So that's 16 for investigation. Okay. Oh, that's a good arcana. That's a 24 for arcana. Okay. Magic pours out of the eater. And you see, and only you can see this, as your eyes begin to glow an amber color. And you see sand rise up from the ground and form the bodies, images of the party that was here. And you hear them discussing the riddle. Surely this isn't, this can't be right. Time would come after death, would it not? It would be the sum of everything. No, you fool. It's birth, then time, because there's a time in between the period of birth and death. And then it's death. I think we're just overthinking this. Perhaps we should just pull the levers. There are two levers, it's quite clear. You pull them at the same time, and that should activate something else. Captain, what? where's the captain? I heard that he went to go check on... Boris, apparently he was not feeling well when he entered here. That arrow really got him bad in the, in the foot. I told you all to watch for traps. Nobody listened to me, though. Fortunately, I disabled most of them. That room was littered with them. And Boris was always headstrong and would, refused to actually listen to anything that I said, though. You hear a stabbing sound, but the others don't seem to notice. And then another. And then another. The last man is standing by the lever, looking at it. I think we should just pull the levers. I would agree with you and he stabs the last man. You see the captain appear. His eyes appear afflicted, blood red. This was never meant for you all. You couldn't possibly understand what you stand, what sits before you. The secrets of the blood shall be mine and mine alone. I shall know how to create the weapon. And he pulls the lever and turns to stone. Mm -hmm. The sand fades down upon the ground. The vision is no more. I know what we did wrong. Why Marcus got petrified. The levers do have to be pulled at the same time, but since the stone statue dude had already pulled it and it wasn't up, it didn't count as it being pulled. It just was like if just one was pulled, and that's why I got petrified. So I think if we yeah. destroy the statue and get him I'm off that to... lever and try again, we should. I'm gonna try. Part. I'm gonna try to push the lever off. I mean, the statue. Try to pull it off the lever. Okay. You attempt to shove the... Um, no, I'm not going to make you roll for it. it. You push him successfully and stuff like that. And as you do, he 
the stone statue falls to the ground and shatters. Give me just a moment. The switch resets. Okay. Do we want to deal with our friend first, or...? Does anybody have the ability to cure petrification? <laughs> Probably not. I don't. The one person that would have it would be the person that uh, is petrified. So I think we could worry about that after we try this mechanism. So yeah, I'm... I better figure out the menagerie key's on me. <laughs> the what's on you? The key to get into the secret tavern. Oh, yeah, that's... Well, I mean, we could take it out of... Well, yeah, because you're not, you're not stone. You're just petrified, right? No, we can stone. still stone. Oh, so we can't ever reach into him and get stuff. Nope. Okay. Well, you better not be reaching into me. We have two choices, guys and and and, and girls. Uh, I uh, we could pull the lever right now at the same time and and hope we don't get petrified, or we could just leave and lug Marcus's corpse with us <laughs> until we can get just him to so the priest or something. Um, in the stone form, I weigh ten times as much. Yeah. Because he's quite literally stone. Uh, and I, I, yeah. my current weight is 100 pounds, so you got to drag 1,000 pounds around. I can do something that I don't want to do, but I can do it. But I think we should you, try something first before me. we do that. I'm not going to shatter you. Some. I'm not going to shatter you. All right. I will. I am just kidding. Lachna, do you want to you pull this with me at the same time? That would be so fitting. You're in the temple of the shattered. You wanna, do you want to pull this at the same time? I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. I get ready to pull the lever. Okay. I I, I, I motion to him. Uh, I nod my head so he knows like the timing when to pull it. And I attempt to pull it at the same time as him. Yep. Okay. Both of you pull it at the same time. Petrified. And the gate's open. Ah, cool. Yeah, that was what we messed up. Which I figured. Actually... Lachnada figured it out first before I did, because he was like, oh, you think we should move the statue? And I was like, no. Nobody listened to me. I should have, and I I, I, I walk up to, to Lachnada. Like, I, I should have listened to you. I'm sorry. We'll we'll find a way uh, to save our friend. Well, let's... We should really not continue without figuring out how to help him out. Uh, a cure for it or something might be further in. But it might also may not be further in. Yeah, but I don't have any way of helping him right now. Do you? Eric. Yes. You hear an echoing laugh. I know. I don't want to do it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I want to check oh. for something first. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do it. It seems you know to be coming from the statue labeled Nolixis. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're going with this, and I don't want to have to resort to that if I don't have to. Can I, I please see... proceed first and see if there's some other way before I go that route? Do I see you panicking? Yes. I, I'm very bad at showing it, uh, at not showing my panic and my fear. <laughs> Part of my character. What? What's going on? Why are you shaking? It's fine. We can figure out a way to help his dumb ass. But I only know one way right at this moment of how to help him. And it requires me to do something no. that you specifically don't want me to do. No. We, we don't. It's You already have one deal. One deal is too dangerous already. Exactly. Nope. So I would like to proceed further and see if potentially there is a cure on the other side. Because it would make sense if they ended up doing something that there potentially could be a cure on the other side to save individuals from that party. Just a remind, uh, just a question, quick though. Yes. What was your deal with Nibelixis? I. <laughs> oh yeah, true. My my deal is kind of as open ended for me as it is for for. For Alexis, I could just. She said that you know, in order for me to do this thing with her, right? This back, she would protect my friends. 
that's very open-ended. So, like, at any point in time, I could just call on her and be like, hey, hey, my friend's, my friend's kind of hurt. But at the same time, if I do that, that means the deal's going to get worse for me. So I still would like to proceed and see if there's another way before I go that route. <laughs> Speaking of Cheshire cat grins. Anyway. Yes, literally. That's literally what he, literally what he is. The freaking Cheshire cat. But I would like to proceed. I mean, he's not going anywhere. He's petrified. And nobody's going to touch him. He's fine. He's there. I think we should proceed with Granny Apple and see if there's anything on this, the end of this thing that we are at. If it ends up being something, whatever, we could come back. It's just on the other side. Did you, um... Did you see how easily you shattered that statue? Well, you mean locking it up, pushing the statue over? Yes. Did you see how easily it was shattered? Yes. Okay. Look at our companion. Are you going to push him? No. But if a squirrel found its way in here... If we found our way in here, who's to say more won't? You think a squirrel's going to push over that heavy of an object? This statue That's over what here... What she is was... saying, you, you dolt. What she is saying is in the event that another were to enter this temple the same way that I have and just, you know, give him a bit of a push. We don't know how deep this te temple goes. How long would you like to be without your friend, Steed? Man, you all making me have to do this. I hate this. Meanwhile, this statue that was on the lever has been here for centuries. And now all of a sudden, you're going to tell me that, this, that, that, that something's going to come up and push him over when this other one was here forever. Eric, I'll make it a simpler decision for you. If you want my aid, that all of us must be going together. I hate to say this, but Granny Apple's right. And we're all men in this position. We trusted you, Eric. You're, I can't yeah, hear you. you. You're yes, petrified. <laughs> I, I look at both of them and I say, you guys owe me. Gorgeous. Yes, yes, we do. As much as I hate to say this, we... Because I'm putting myself further into danger into something that you guys have nothing to do with to protect you all. We're I am already... willing to do this, but understand that now you guys owe me. Eric, we my going entire with you. position on this team is to try and take the hits so that in battle, my teammates don't have to. I expect that in all aspects, as a team, we will work together to try and protect each other in any way that we can. Is that not what you intend as a team? So if I need protection, you will protect me? Yes. Okay. I uh, close my eyes and I start calling to Nelixus. Don't worry, I'm already listening. Jills <laughs> go up my spine. Can Another you... mock down. <laughs> yeah, don't remind me. You hear the echo trail off. Marcus, you are no longer petrified. I make a duel to Nelixus to be petrified again, not be part of this madness. No, I just I'm start joking. I just start no. making my I, I turn my back on everybody and I just start making my way into the thing and I just don't even want to talk to them. And that is where we're going to end today's session. Oh thank God. I was gonna jump down the hole. <laughs> I saved you. 